G'day everyone, and welcome back for some more Stationeers. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've played this on stream. The devs are doing a major refactoring update, I think they're calling it. Basically reworking the whole back end of things to improve performance. Uh, apparently, there are a few bugs in this version, so I'm expecting to find things like my headless body of Agnew. Um, because... <laughs> That's what I've been hearing about, but I I really wanted to get a bit of a... I kind of wanted to refresh myself a bit on how to play Station is, because as soon as the big update comes out, I am dragging Capac back for some more co-op fun. Um, I'm still not sure what planet to play on or whether to try and mess around and create my own custom planet for that, but I figure... Um, I figure I may as well try something new for myself here. Or maybe I should just go with what I know. I don't want to do Vulcan because I think... So, let's look through the plants. Actually, I'll start at the top. Moon, I think, could be fun with Capac because we'll have to do gas capture. And we'll have to make sure that we, you know, actually preserve some of... Some of our basic things. And it might take a little bit more work to figure out how to do our greenhouses and stuff. But I was also tempted to come up with a custom planet that had just pollutant this atmosphere. Mars we've done. Uh, Mars, I feel like, is a good starter planet for most people because it's got the easy atmosphere to just grab CO2 from and has low enough pollutants that you can usually get away with it initially for your plants. Uh, Europa, I did. that's what Capac and I also did. We did a modified Europa with... Uh, the, I modified it so that it had the, um, the wrecked buildings and stuff on it. I don't think I'm going to do that this time because the performance hit of all those wrecked buildings is massive. And I don't, I don't feel like it's going to add much because they've kind of scrapped that idea. And so... If they've scrapped the idea, there's not going to be any new builds for Capac and I to find, so there's probably not a huge amount to add there. Mimas. Mimas is something I'm tempted to do, but to again, to modify so that it does have some atmospheric pressure. I was thinking this one, because it's got minimal solar energy, it's got fairly low grav, and if I modified it to have an atmosphere that's like, or modified something similar to it, that had an atmosphere of all pollutant so we really have to separate our outside atmosphere from our inside one um that is a bit of a a mimus is a moon but it's, it's like the moon but it's almost always in the dark yeah that's a problem don't really want something constantly dark for a stream <laughs> dark video and twitch slash youtube is not good uh, the issue with Vulcan is you're going to spend so much time underground and waiting that I don't think it would make for interesting viewing in real time. If I was doing an edited series, then I think Vulcan could work because we can just edit out the waiting time. Uh, but yeah, Vulcan's dark and Vulcan is waiting. Uh, so that's that's not ideal. Uh, asteroid belt's boring. And then Venus, I think, again, you just constantly have to be underground. For today... I'm going to try Moon, and I'm probably going to die. Actually, let's have a look at what I can customize. See how hard it would be. Uh... Yeah, so... I think pollution atmosphere is just the... Hmm. Actually, let's do it. Let's do pollution. Let's see what it is. Atmosphere scattering. Blue fog. Oh, it hasn't looked like that. Oh, I can see all my ores. Uh, did I break it? 
Uh, maybe I should go and select a different world that already has an atmosphere and then modify that. Uh... Oh, actually, let's. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go with it. Let's see what happens. Um, so we want pollution, scattering. Let's go blue fog, terrain. Could be default mineables. Lots and lots because we're testing terrain features. Actually, let's. Ooh, hang on a sec. I wonder if the mods that I've got on are still working. We'll find out. Has LOD. <laughs> this is going. Has weather events. Yes. I want the weather events. That's why I want something with atmosphere. I was thinking about this uh, last night. When I play with Capac, I want the weather events because I think the storms will be fun for him. Uh, solid terrain. Kind of, uh, has lava. Don't worry about that. Oh, I could do Lulan as my preset. Oh, let's see what Moon does. Okay. Create world. Also, <laughs> uh, thanks so much, Insect Learner, a, majest a Majestic Dwarf for 13 months and 20, 20 months for Insect Learner. Thanks, Ice Zero, for five months. Thanks for the raid, Aluruo Buob. And thanks, Moosey. Uh, I like to think that, um, the, uh, that's not what I want. I like to think that having storms will be fun for both of us. Okay, that's interesting. There's almost no atmosphere. Oh. Oh, I've totally broken this. <laughs> Look at this. I, I focused on the atmosphere, but I should probably pay attention to, um, you know, this. Huh. Yeah, mining's easy. There's that. Yeah, it does look like it might be um, some sort of alien art piece. All right, let's give this a go where I do slightly less terrible things to the game. Uh, so th this is why I started at the menu, because... Wait, do I have a head again? Nope, still no head. Um, let's... Mass with Mars. So default. Uh, actually, let's let's go Lulan. Starting condition. Uh, why are there two defaults? Which default do I want? Mm. Uh, difficulty default. Research off. Atmosphere pollution. Atmospheric scattering default, terrain default, 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 default. Uh, gravity minus 3.7, that's fine. I can mess with the temperatures later. Drop the solar intensity. Not quite that far. Let's go there. Let's see if this world's broken. Yes, I want the correct default, not the wrong default. Uh, wait, am I... No, I've... I, my character last time we played was an alien, but last time I played, I changed to the human. Um, also, I think the game broke. Because that says spawning things 0%. Oh, dear. I've already broken the game twice. Uh, 
error color that's ff quadruple zero that's that's black isn't it color not initialized uh all right i'm going to kill the game oh yeah i'm 100 percent playing the beta i know this is gonna be buggy as that's kind of why i put there will be bugs in the um stream title also thanks iron helix Oh yeah, I wonder if my mods... Let's have a look at my mods, see if that fixes it. Uh, my monitor resolution is 4K. And my stream is 1080p, because Twitch. Uh... Uh... Okay, let's try this one more time before I give up and I just use a default world. World. Mars. Atmosphere pollution. Solar intensity reduced to about half. That'll do. Create. Okay, that worked. All right. Yeah, yeah, this looks okay. Cool. Uh, I've totally forgotten what I'm meant to do in what order. So I'm going to uh, mine a few things once I get rid of a few things that I don't want. Oh, I usually try and build a few things first, but it's daylight, I've got copper, I've got lead. Uh, I'm going to turn off my light. I was going to grab some coal if I can find some. Oh, let's grab that. Grab some gold. Oh yeah, I'm still ghost splitzy in my little thing. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Also ominous. Also ominous. I have to gather the resources to build a face. It's been it has been a while since I played, so I'm probably gonna make some really dumb decisions. That's okay. That makes for spicy endings or fun little challenges in the middle. Right, I can still see. I think there's still a gold boulder on the surface. It doesn't seem to go very deep. This deposit. What resources are needed to make an Arcotech head? <laughs> uh, the RimWorld reference. I'll get one more chunk of gold before I stop. Alright. Jetpack on. I'm kind of impressed with myself. I've remembered the keys, so that's a good start. It's weird. I find um, Station is the prospecting aspect of it is kind of different to how I would normally play games. Normally, I would go out and, you know, do my mining at night because what else am I going to do during night time? But here, I actually have to do all my building at night. Because there is no way I will find my way home in the dark. Ah, uh, there's copper right underneath 
underneath my pod, so that's why I'm not worried about picking up copper. I just wanted to get... I like to get a bit of gold, iron, and copper on the first day, because I... You, you know, you, you know you're going to need them all. Um, and that might be, I can start processing it once I've got my base set up. And build a few more basic solar panels. Maybe a wind turbine or two. Eventually. I don't actually remember how much anything costs. Remember that the wind turbines are near useless until there's a storm, and then they're awesome. Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to get. Coal. I wanted to get coal. You have a compass now? Oh, yeah, you've had... Th I've had the compass for ages, but that doesn't help me. Because I won't pay attention... Like, I won't remember which way I've walked when I start turning around and stuff. You underestimate how bad my sense of direction is. Like, if I hit in just one... Like, if I don't deviate at all, then I should be able to find my way home, but chances are I will deviate at some point without realising it. They got rid of coal on Mars. Surely not. Surely I don't have to grow my um, carbonaceous materials. Here we go. There may well come a point where I would regret burning the coal, but I suspect we're going to run into game-breaking bugs before that becomes an issue. Although maybe not. I I think I get the impression that the when they first released this beta of this update, it was real bad, uh, but it's gotten a lot better in the last couple of weeks. Hence why I thought let's let's test out this beta because if they're getting to a point where it's kind of relatively stable and it's not horrible horrible, uh, it might be getting close to getting released proper. It's better than main branch now. Really? I don't have a head. You sure? <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> and I did I did at least turn off all my mods now, so can't blame that. Though I really wish I had a found a... I really wish I'd set resource amounts to be huge. I'm regretting that decision. Uh, if you have a look in my lower left where it says mining belt... That's where all my ore is ending up. It goes straight in there from my drill. You don't need no stinking head. I'd like a stinking head, though. Or a non-stinking head. Just a head to be fine.
to do. Come on, give me just enough coal to fill up that stack. That'd be lovely. Nope. You're not gonna? Fine. Be that way. That'll do. Jetpack Let's go get some building done before it gets... D Ooh, it's getting dark. Does anyone remember which way home was? <laughs> oh, that's gonna... I think it was this way? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, there it is. There it is. Found it. <laughs> uh. Yep. About ten minutes in game and already getting lost. Is what you came here for, right? <laughs> it's just called Kavak. Uh, I don't think so, Diver Bishop. I don't know what... I have no control over any of that stuff anyway. Uh, if it's broken, unfortunately. Alrighty. No, I don't want organics. I want building supplies. Not that one. This one. Uh, do, 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 do. East is that, I mean, west is that way. East is that way. So I could just build right in front of my pod here. Over this hole. With ice. Ooh, that's handy. I'm going to need that. Or the water. Yeah, let's build over the top of a hole. Then I can... Um, Dig down at some point if I want to. Uh, man, I'm st struggling hard to remember what I do here. I know I'm going to die as a result. I'm going to try not to take too many hints from people. <laughs> yeah, build build over a Martian burial ground. All the bugs are explained by ghosts. Yep. Sounds good to me. Oh, I, I modified this planet. Uh, Got to check something. Once I've done this. I need to check to see if the atmosphere is actually different. Yep. 100% pollutant. Cool. I'm happy with that. That's going to make building this base a bit more difficult. Iron frames on a wall. Uh, yeah, that's east. Um, does anyone in chat know? Is the sun more south or more north on Mars? 
Because I think it goes in an arc like that sort of thing. More south. Okay, so I want I want windows facing this way. Okay. Thank you. Oh, get a sneeze. Oh, I think that's the first time I've ever managed to get to my mute key in time. If that's the case, then I want a slightly bigger. Yeah, I'm just going to do my standard sort of start, I think. No, no. Let's do... A little bit different. I think I can get away with. I'll put a wall... I think if I put a wall there... I should be able to place stuff on the... I can't remember which side of a wall you can build stuff on. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, I know on Mars it's very minimal in terms of the north-south deviation, but I figured I might as well take, in, take it into account somewhat anyway. Tell you what, when I play a lot of stationers and a lot of space engineers at the same time, the uh, insert, home, page up, page down, delete, etc. controls for rotating blocks do start to get a bit confusing. This is a pretty big space, but it'll be fine. I'll be able to make it work. Uh, what have we got? I need kit arc furnace. Let's start with that. Oh, I'm going to want that outside. Because I'm going to have to be so much more protective of my atmosphere. That'll do. Uh, what made me decide to play some stationers? Um, I kind of just felt like it. I hadn't played it in ages. And there's an update that's I'm playing the beta of that's in the works, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I want to play that. What I lay down. Oh, hang on. I need to do this. I know I could put wires inside the frame, but I never really go to the effort of doing that. 
Mainly because I'm too disorganized to know exactly where I want things. Uh, I'll do for now. Just to get it out of my inventory and somewhere secure that it won't blow away. That's what I wanted, solar generator. Ah. Oh, what's what's the auto rotate key again? It's C, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, thanks, Down Slayer. Yeah, that's true, K Broman. Um that's another reason not to wire inside the frames. That if anything ever blows, you're in trouble. Uh, a wild capac will not be appearing in this No. Uh but this is prep for when I do drag him into playing this. Cause I am going to. Did I do that around the wrong way? I think I did that around the wrong way. I thought I did it. I thought I... I'm into the data port of the thing, aren't I? Wow, it has been a while. Oh. <laughs> I'll eventually get the controls right. Don't mind me. Nope. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I probably could have turned the furnace around, but I didn't want to. <laughs> Alright, got some iron smelting. Uh, let's get a basic solar panel down. These get damaged, don't they? I think I prevented damage from them... So I, I have played with the storms on. I just haven't played it on stream. Um, and I think I actually managed to protect these. They only got one output. I think I managed to protect mine by just putting them in a shell of a space. I didn't actually have a door on it. I just put a shell down and it was enough to protect it from the winds. Uh, I don't know if that's still going to be the case, but it was kind of cool that I didn't have to shelter it more than... I keep pressing the wrong key. Uh, it was kind of cool that I didn't have to fully enclose it to have it be sheltered. I quite like that. No. Uh, oops. Don't mind me as I cable the long way around so that I don't have to deal with weird crossovers later. What do I need for this? 
glass sheets. Uh, I will try and remember that sort of shortcut, K. Bremen, but I'm not convinced I will. <laughs> As I still very much use uh, the alt and moving stuff around more than I should. I used to use the F thing, um, like to transfer between and like scroll through, but once they introduced the ability to... Um, switch stuff, like, use the mouse, I kind of went backwards to that. Power low. Uh, battery's okay. It's only 50%. Alright. Uh, might actually work on this. Welding torch iron sheets. I'm a plastic set. That's going to get annoying. Huh. That was weird. That just wouldn't activate, even though the thing was. Thoughts were, were if I get this basics all hooked up as it is, the solar panel's at least going to provide some charge to this battery while I process ores and whatnot. Um, but when I need to, I should be able to use the solid fuel generator to charge this. Though, I can't remember if... I don't think it will with this battery at this size. I don't think it'll blow that cable, but it might. I don't remember. Now uh, let's get some iron sheets. Ah, oh, cool. I am safe. Cool. I thought. Yeah, I couldn't remember whether I was safe or possibly risking it, but I had some memory that the time when I blew my um, cable was when I had uh, when I had a station battery, like pro one of the proper ba big batteries connected to the generator without a heavy cable. I'll do. Uh, let's maybe mine some. Uh, you know, let's just quickly do this. And then mine some copper. I'm going to need some for cabling soon. Uh, yeah, I think the generated power is wasted for smaller power draws. That's that's always been my assumption. I've never actually tested it. Pull 
my own windows together-ish. Probably should try and find some silicon in the next daylight. So I think I should have enough glass to put this much together. Don't think I've built too much too big. Uh, cool. That's not what I wanted to do. What the? That's what the... Actually, have the belt on. Oh, because I forgot my habit that I developed before, where I'm, I leave the mining belt on all the time and just open up the tool belt. Yeah, I'm, I'm not remotely worried about air pressure differences across my um, airlock. I've got bigger issues if that's my issue. <laughs> so, yes, we'll not worry about that. We'll just make a very simple little airlock. And we'll also have, and also remember that I've learned from my previous errors in large airlock design. Airlocks will all be so, as small as I can possibly make them so that we don't spend ages <laughs> with me having time to search for elevator music to listen to while the airlock's operating. Uh, yeah, PM Nutrition, you can produce alloys and all sorts of other stuff uh, with advanced and some even with the basic furnace. Not with the furnace that I'm using at the moment, though. The arc furnace just does single ores. You have to have the right gas, uh, like air fuel mix and stuff like that as well. Which gets quite fun when you get to that point. Like, the, the engineering around it and the balancing all the different factors is... I quite enjoy I did notice a question at the start, which I had meant to answer, but I forgot. Uh, which, someone said something about Stationeers or Astroneer. They are so different games. Um, like, I don't... I haven't actually played Astroneer, but from everything I've seen, it is a totally different game. Despite the similar in... similar naming. Yeah, things like that, Majestic Dwarf. Uh, why Vulcan seems interesting on the surface, uh, where you can, you know, use just the regular atmosphere to smelt steel. But, as we talked about, and you agreed, it's not a good one for a stream series. Um, Will Dozer, once this update comes out, I suspect the minimum specs required for it are going to drop dramatically. Because a lot of this is focused on performance. Um, I mean, I could be wrong. But... And it could just be later game performance that improves. But given they're focusing on it, I imagine it's going to improve a bit. Yeah, exactly. The voxel shaping thing is similar, and the aesthetic is vaguely similar between this and Astroneer, but otherwise, yeah, they're completely different.
Now I wonder, can I remember how to make an airlock? Let's find out. Well, it'd probably help if I finished actually enclosing this space first, wouldn't it? Going to put a swimming pool in the base. I haven't... I haven't actually messed with liquids. As yet. They were in the game when I last played it. But I... Haven't messed with them. Maybe? I think... I think we're good. Crowbar and glass sheets. Okay, door done. Yeah, the windows do have little lines in them, so you can see that they're there, but they are very difficult to see against the sky. Ideal to use a small battery for this, but I think I have no choice. Uh, now, sensor and all my airlock bits and pieces. Oh, that's the gold finished it has. Oh, what? Is water not able to be put in pools anymore? Oh. Sad. Is that something they've intentionally removed, or is it just a temporary removal? Hasn't been able to for a long time. Oh. Water doesn't exist outside the loop. Oh, good network. Oh, that's a bit sad. How much power have we got in this battery? Eh, still better than mine. And... Oh, I'm sure the water did nasty things to... Um, performance. That doesn't surprise me. Still sad, because it was one of the few games that kind of had it when it had it. Oh, jeez, laws. <sighs> you can't have swimming in pools anymore, Splitzy asked. His spirits dampened. I've got the sensor. Alright, I just need to cable this thing, I think. Which means I need this copper. Oops.
Okay, we're charging that battery. I'm trying not to burn too much coal. If I can get away with just using burning some, that'll be better. Oh dear, at least I can be a wet blanket for Capac's insanity. Sometimes I need to be. Otherwise we'd have none at all, like anything. Right, let's turn that off. Pop you in there. Make us some cable. How's the battery looking? Okay, five coal really doesn't go very far. I'd like to get that battery fully charged so I can switch it out for my suit battery. Yeah, Gruz, that's that's actually not a bad idea. A good idea I saw from one of Pav's streams was to give your airlock its own solar slash wind, so if the rest of your network goes down, you can still get in and out. Yeah, I tend to... So, what I tend to do as my bat safety net for my airlock is make sure I've got its own individual area power control that has as big a battery as I can put in it. So normally... Um, I do that. Well, normally I've done that as enough. Alright. I think I might have made a mistake. Yes, I have. Nuts. Oops. I need to take that area power control off the wall. Because of the type of door I used, I can't actually get the power through there. And I did put the wrong side of wall on that. Uh, so, if we go that way, we can make it work. Let's bring the power across the roof. Yeah, let's do that. Try something different just for the sake of being different. That stopped. Did I run out of power? No. I didn't. Hmm. Why did that stop producing the things? Cable in the window, how dare you? 
It'll, it'll, um, uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Keep pressing E instead of C for some reason. That doesn't make any sense to me. Okay. Let's go grab the label maker and label a few things so that... My brain finds it an easier time to do this. That's probably all I need to rename. So the rest of this will be on its own separate data network anyway. Alright, I need the vents. I need an active vent on the inside and out side. I need a passive. Where is, where is my vents? Active vent. Oh, right, 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 right. I know what I'm doing now. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I need the wall first. So, I think what I'd forgotten and what I'd often kind of beelined towards was the pipe bender. Because with a pipe bender, I can make a, make the extra vents so that I can make this a proper, a better setup. Okay, pipe. I can't, this can't make vents, can it? Basic, no. Where's the arc furnace? Wait. Hydraulic pipe bandit. That's it. There it is. Hey, thanks, Bushwhacker. Uh, yes, Laws. It still has all of the same high tier metal crafting stuff. Uh, but I haven't, for this one, enabled. Um, the research stuff because I didn't feel like it added much. Jetpack on. Oh, I see a problem. Thought that might have been it. Low. Gotta admit, I kind of miss the Kiwi voice. Jetpack on. Can we get the Kiwi voice back for the jetpack and stuff? <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm going to switch out. Let's just drop those for now. I'm going to move these cables. Thanks, my selfie. And thanks, the doctor. Thanks for the prime subs. Oh, wait, that has to be like that. Uh, but 
then it can curve, and then I can put the pipe straight rather than having it weirdly bent. Not that it matters. But it makes me feel better. Oh, I can double click on stuff. Not just double F. Maybe that I might be able to get into a habit of using. <laughs> <I'm>... <sighs> I may have made fun of um, Kiwis and saying jandals earlier that today, but come on, sheep jokes, we can do better than that. Thanks so much, Drop Dead. Thanks, Drop Dead Fred. Thanks for the 10 gift subs. Yes, I probably could have put the area power control over here and put the vent over this side, but it, it's done now. <laughs> it's, it's fine. I'm sure all of my cabling will have to be redone at some point anyway. Like this... Early base never lasts particularly long in my hands. Whether that's through destruction or other things is unclear. Uh oh. No, the oof. Almost made two pipe benders. That would have been annoying. Uh, Alright, let's just shove it over this side of the floor. It's not particularly convenient, but it's not the worst. Rolling torch, iron sheets. Twice the pipes is twice the fun. Sometimes! Sometimes it genuinely is. Sometimes you need more pipes, because one of my favorite things to do in this, and one of the mechanics that I just... I really love that it's actually in the game, is for something like this, um, which is going to be a greenhouse, putting pipes full of water in the walls and the floor so that you've got extra thermal capacitance so that the chances of you like getting way overheated are so dramatically lowered that it basically means you don't need to worry too much about automating the temperature management for ages because the amount of energy required to shift your temperature up is huge. And I really like that. Ah, uh, yeah, forgot about that. I think someone had tried to teach me that last time. Uh, one sec. Let me explain what I'm talking about. So, if I, say, turn this on, and then selected something and then click the arrow, it should still continue to make the thing I selected. But it won't make any more than one of them. I need to remember to use that. Also to turn that off. Wait, is my... Is this... That's off. Good. Stop for a second, I might have left it on. Cool. Uh, let's melt some iron. Uh, I don't know if you do have the advanced airlock card in the lander anymore. 
I'll check. Oh, no, there is. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Because I want that, not the basic airlock. Which means I need to make a whole extra vent. And... Which means I'm probably going to move this one. <laughs> oh, actually, I think I've left room. I think I've left room. What do I need? I need... Um... I need vents. Active vent. What does that require? Gold and copper. Alright, I'm going to have to get the gold out of here. What are we doing for the battery? Battery's looking pretty good. Let's swap it out. Build active vent. There we go. And now I need two passive vents. Thanks, Brooke. Whoa. So... Next... Oh, is that gonna... Am I gonna be able to do that? Do I have to go weird here? I have to go weird because there has to be a piece of pipe between the two vents. But that can work. We just have a floor height vent. <laughs> sure. Jetpack on. Oh, right. Uh, I need to do this. Nope, not that. There we go. I knew there was a reason I wanted... I knew there was a reason for more than the doors that I wanted the label maker. I had some memory of other things that I had to label. Yeah, Logi Wonk, this is still actively developed. Uh, this is external vent. Internal vent. Okay, so... Like, this is active development enough that I'm playing this because it's got a beta update and with a big update coming. Um, the teams on this and Icarus are totally separate, as I understand it. And am I... Yeah, getting lowish on water. Great. Um, okay. So first step is... Let's close that door. Uh, we need to cable that up as well. Then I need to turn this one on to set outward. And turn it on and just turn this internal space into a complete vacuum. Because I need... I need that to become empty. Though that looks like it's going the wrong way. Oh, dang it. It was going the wrong way. Because I forgot how these worked. Set inward means it's currently set to go out. Uh, 
Uh, yes, the jetpack uses a fuel. So if you have a look here, where is it, boss? Uh, propellant. That's my propellant for my jetpack. So you can use anything. It doesn't have to be nitrogen. You can use any compressed gas. So it's just a compressed gas jetpack. Um, so it's actually quite easy to refill. All you need is an active vent and a canister filler. And just make sure you don't explode the canister. Uh, the reason I don't build a ramp to get to the roof is because I need more complex stuff. Uh, building ramps and stuff is actually weirdly more difficult. Um, yeah, your waste tank can be a decent um, jet fuel. Although, I don't tend to find that it fills fast enough sometimes. Uh, I also realise I've kind of done this wrong. But, what I should do... Is throw a bit more of that in there. Throw that in there. What I'm thinking is I would like to make the stuff I need for water. Is there extra water here? Yeah, water bottle. There we go. I don't need to worry about water just yet. But it is going to come soon where I need to worry about it. Oh, stairs in the printer. Huh. Why did I think they were something more complex than that? No, oh, whatever. Uh, let's see how we're going inside. So if I turn you off, I close you. And realize I didn't need my crowbar. And with your your set inward, turn you on. And I can open this door. Let's see how we're looking with my Atmos analyzer. Nine Pascals. Oh, there's still a fair bit of horribleness in here. It is going down, though. Actually, while well, this is going down, I'm going to go get some ice. Uh, not some ice, some oxide. Yep, I am currently pumping it to vacuum. Though, because I've got those machines in there, I'm still going to get some other stuff in it. That's fine. Can't be perfect. Now, this is the thing I'm not particularly experienced with. Other than me breathing out CO2, I'm not sure what produces CO2. Because I'm going to need that for my plants. I think water ice that I just... The bit that I just picked up then has nitrogen and water in it. I don't know what else has CO2. Yeah, the furnaces... I know the... I figured the furnaces would have that sort of stuff, but I'm not ready to capture. Hmm. 
Oh, I'll have to get ready to capture, I guess. Hill atmosphere. Still a little bit of atmosphere in here. Also, that's still on. Um, how little atmosphere is in here? And 190. That's probably low enough pollutant that I can get away with it. But it would be nice to get rid of more. I think... I think with the amount of pollutant in the atmosphere, I'm going to need to have a constant scrubber running in here to keep removing that so I don't poison my plants. Uh, Mutant Bob, this looks like Mars, but it's not standard Mars atmosphere. I messed with it. So that's why there's no CO2. No, the flares didn't seem to give off CO2. Or maybe they didn't, because I was using the Martian atmosphere I didn't notice. I'm going to use the flares shortly anyway, so we'll find out. Uh, 0.08 moles. 18 pascals. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> Laws. Is the pressure on this planet measured in, measured in Mars bars? Now I want a Mars bar. Evil. Six. Five. Four. Five. <laughs> I think it's going to struggle to get this last little bit out. You set yourself up for that one, Laws. I'm not paying that. Snickers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cross! <laughs> Cheeky bugger. Space Engineer's got a really in-depth update. Uh. Oh, come on. How many decimal points do I need to go down to? I actually don't know anything about Pascal. So I cannot tell you who is Pascal. I'm so tempted just to start. Just to drop my ice and... Oh, I have to go grab my flares anyway. Alright, that's... Let's just leave that going for a moment. Um, close the door. Turn you off. Open the door, turn you on. I'm manually doing the airlock because obviously I'm still trying to vent that space. That's why I haven't set the airlock up yet. I was coming out here for my flares. There we are.
We're so close. We're so close. Ah. Uh, Scalabjorn, yes, I intend to make Stationeers tutorials, but not until the big refactoring update is actually out. I'm hoping that the new game stuff will be relatively stable after that. Because it was... <laughs> It was slightly frustrating making, like, starting a proper tutorial series for this and then having the game totally change on me so that it kind of, and only a couple of weeks after I released the, released the videos. So I was like, all that work, and now they're not accurate. Ah. <sighs> so, yeah. Come on, take one for the team. Make them so they'll release the update. <sighs> Seriously, how many decimal points do they go to? We're down to center pascals. Fractions of a center pascal. It's true, Gruz. It is what I get for trying to do tutorials for something in beta. Oof, Dragnon. No, no. Th no. No, I will not be doing any sort of um, RimWorld tutorials because I'm not good at RimWorld. Yay! We are vacuum. Okay. First off, let's turn you off. And let's chuck these on the floor. And I realize you don't have to be good at something to teach it. You just need to understand it. But I don't even understand it. A lot of what goes on. <laughs> no, Laws, the sleeping outside after we raided the shelter doesn't matter because the shelter, we had to destroy the doors. So it was outside anyway. What was weird was that Wasted... <coughs> Didn't do anything to lay down our sleeping bags. He just put sleeping spots down. I think he forgot. I think RimWorld is more fun when you suck. Because you don't know what's going on. Why is... Why is this not getting warm enough to even melt a little bit of that oxide? Hmm. Hopefully that worked. No, the oh, it what? Um It says it's 70 Celsius and my ice isn't melting. Not enough Atmo. Jetpack on. All right, with my jetpack operating, you can see the nitrogen amount is going up. Still got too much art. Still not melting the ice, though. Ugh. 
It'll like explosively shoot up at some point soon. If it, assuming I, I'm guessing it might be one kilopascals needed. I've already vented the waste gas tank. There we go. So yeah, the flares do not release CO2. They don't release anything. So what's happening right now is those little boulders of ice that I put on the ground have sublimated to gas. Uh, that's why I've now got 159 moles of oxygen in this room. And we've got 19 moles of nitrogen from my jet packing just hovering there. And then a half a mole of CO2 from my waste tank. Uh, which means I am actually, to be able to set up a proper greenhouse, going to need to... Uh, Power low. put some sort of gas capture around the furnace. I've got no idea when this update is releasing. They're still working on it. I'm good, Zenister One. Uh, just trying to think. If I set up, if I set up just a little room with a single door on it. Rather than doing a full airlock, I should be able to set up a single room with a door around the arc furnace. And if I print off a an Atmo kit, I think it's an Atmo kit, I should be able to then put filters on to pull out the CO2 that's in the room and put it into here. And I need more copper. Uh, yeah, in theory that should work. And then, see ya, Alu. Um, and then I should, yeah, hopefully have enough CO2 for the plants, because I don't think I've got enough yet to grow plants. They will not have anything to make their food from. Let's close this up. I'm going to stick this being manual for now. Oops, wrong way. That needs to change. That one needs to be outward. I love gases in this game. As soon as I start planting my atmospherics, I start blowing up rooms. Yep. Yep. Uh, yes. Yes, Caperman. I am where I will get heat with my gas as well. That's kind of desirable. Because I'm sure this room will start cooling off once I start adding water to the walls so that I can, as I said, have that thermal capacitance that I was after. Uh... I should probably also, at some point soon, get myself a, um, what's the term I'm thinking of? I need, come on rain, why are you no worky? I 
totally lost my train of thought. I have no idea where I was going with that. It's like 100% gone. Oh well. Oh yeah, I can probably turn that off. Thank you. So let's make this little room for the Arc Furnace. So we get a little bit of gas capture. Going. I'm going to try my hardest to remember to build some stairs when I next walk inside. <laughs> oh, and I'm also going to have to go back inside because I need more iron. Because the this room that I'm gonna make needs to be airtight. Yes, plants do make a room warmer um, quite considerably, and that's again why um, I tend to line my greenhouses with water in the walls. So I find it helps as much as it should help, which is really cool, as mentioned earlier. Oh, jeez. Cockatoos are loud. What the? Why is my pressure going down? Why is my pressure going up? Oops. That'd be why. Don't mind me. At some point I'll figure that out. Uh, light. Iron sheets. And then I might need some iron walls as well. <laughs> Thanks, Juicy Monkey. Uh, oh yeah, I could probably capture coal, capture stuff from the Coal generator instead. That might be a better, better way to go, actually. Than the furnace. Uh, frame. Make a few more. They have humidity in this. Um, I don't know if water vapor counts as like humidity in a negative way. Oh yeah, that's a good point, Dwarf. Um, use a chute to feed the generator so I don't even have to go in the room. Yeah. Then I can just evacuate the room. Though I probably still want a door on it because I want to keep an eye on the pressure inside the room and make sure I don't overpressure it. Uh, let's make kit stairs. Oh, that's what I remember. They're expensive. They're not like advanced materials. The stairs are just iron, but they're 15 grams of it.
Don't question the coal. I think given the things we can question in games, the coal in this is like one of the lowest on any list anywhere. <laughs> Uh, and for sanity. There we go. We have stairs. How do I want to do this? Do I want to use a box of frames or do I want to use a box of walls? Uh, frames is safer from going kaboom. So maybe we'll go frames. Oh, I don't really want to go frames. No, I'm not going to go frames. Although, I've now just set myself up for when this does explode, you all telling me, well, you did choose this. Uh, Demon Works, there's not much, as far as I understand it, there's not much new in terms of gameplay compared to what it was when, uh, like, in the last regular version. But it's, once this is done, it should bring performance improvements that are quite dramatic, is my understanding of it. Yes, th this is true. It is always all my fault. However, uh, there are certain times when it's more obviously me being dumb dumb. I was coming in here because I need walls. Kit wall. Wait, is kit iron wall separate to wall? Yes. Isn't it? Yes. for a door and can I make doors interior doors would an interior door is an interior door airtight wonder no an interior door is not airtight okay I thought it mightn't be. Okay, one door. Uh, let's dump. I'm going to dump in here that I don't need to carry on me. Uh, those for now. Oh, wait. Do I have 
Oh, I do have stuff in my suit. Okay. So what I'm thinking is making this room a bit bigger than just a single cube because, well, I think we kind of know what would happen if it's just a straight up one block cube. So I was thinking two by two area. So we've got a bit more volume, which should give me a little bit more safety margin. before it explodes. Oh, I needed to make more iron plate. Dang it. Three. Uh, now I think what I'll do is I'm going to put my atmospherics kit outside of that room. Not air conditioner filtration. My idea being that if I have far enough outside, I should be able to get my Atmo analyzer onto the pipe that leads into it through a passive vent. And that'll give me insight as to what's on the other side of the door. Not a clue, the mess. Not a clue. <laughs> you ruin all our fun with your insistence on safety margins. You're assuming that my safety margins are enough. There's no reason to believe that's the case. Like, there's really no reason to believe that I've haven't messed this up and I still won't. There's so much that can go wrong. Like, the amount of time I'm taking to do this, that could be my undoing. Um, because I'm going to need food and water soon, but it's taking me so long to get this done that I may well die anyway. Yeah, it is a pity that um, Keen haven't ever worked out how to make the voxels in Space Engineers airtight. Because um, it would be nice to be able to have airtight ground in your base. Especially for asteroid bases. And especially for drilling in an asteroid base and accidentally venting your whole space. The other thing that I think is really cool in Station is that I haven't experienced in another game, but it's probably in others, but I just haven't experienced, is, at least in a first-person game, gases matter. Like, the amount of gas you can collect, for a long time it matters. Whereas in, like, Space Engineers, you collect a little bit of oxygen, you're done. For the rest of the game, there's no worries. Um, which is always a bit sad. Right, so what do I need for this? I need vents, so let's not go in there until I get the vents. I need a passive vent. So I just need two passive vents, don't I? Yeah. And I'm going to need some more wiring. Uh, I also need... CO2 filters. And I don't have enough iron for that. Okay. Yeah, Dragnon, that's what I was trying to do with um, Survival Impossible, was trying to make oxygen matter. But it's, it's really hard to make it matter in Space Engineers without completely ruining the Space Engineers experience. Uh, I haven't figured that part out yet.
Uh, that's filtered. Right, unfiltered. Power critical. Why is it always when I'm placing these things down, the vent ends up on? Actually, do you know what I reckon? This thing, this thing needs to have these, not on the same side as the unfiltered output. <laughs> Because I always want to, I want to be able to access these, and I don't really care about this side. I guess maybe more advanced players want that ability, but I've never had a need for it. Uh, right. Iron, that's what I was doing. Which means I'm going to have to mine some because I don't have any more. And I left stuff on inside. Great. Good job, Switzy. Uh, Close this off. There we go. Uh, I didn't end up making the cables. That's annoying. All right, I'm just going to have to burn some coal now. My battery in my suit is getting super low. And this one's flashing too. Actually, Demonworks, yes. Uh, the way to make oxygen more consumed and more important in space engineers would be to have hydrogen thrusters consume both hydrogen and oxygen however without changes to very basic code in space engineers like very low level code um that's not possible from my understanding and my understanding is minimal from my understanding of uh that situation Like, I've, I've read through a few discussions between people who are very smart about this sort of thing, and it's just not possible. It'd have to be scripted to consume the O2, and then that creates a whole lot of overhead that's not great. I'm trying to see how much I can get that charged before I run out of my suit power here. <laughs> What on earth are you talking about, Tommaso? Capac is not playing. Uh, I'm just going to do this. Don't have a use for these right now. I do like it when my floor is solid. Capac shows in Steam as playing vampire survivors. Well, that's because Capac doesn't work on Thursdays until later in the day because he works into the evening. So he's probably just playing games this morning. Yeah, well, um, I think... I think Station has got a bad rap when it first came out because of the interface. 
uh, a lot of people did not seem to be fond of the way you have to handle stuff. But it, at least for me, it didn't take that long to get used to it and to cope with it. And it does... Once you get comfortable enough with the interface, it does, in a weird way, add something to the experience because you end up having to think about it. Oh, there's some iron. Yeah, I look forward to modding the game again so that I've got uh, a bit more yield from the rocks. Not like 50 per chunk sort of thing. Those those mods seem to... They just kind of remove mining as being a thing. But I felt like the mod that I played with before when Capac and I last played added enough extra resources to not make mining painful but still make mining relevant. I think it kind of doubled or tripled the output. That's just going to be a single block. Yeah. It's more lead. more iron. There we go. Oh yeah, there's heaps of mods. Well, I don't know if that... None of the mods work for the beta branch, as I discovered when I was starting up this, because I crashed it heaps. But yeah, there are plenty of mods for this. Not massive game-changing ones, like Space Engineers style mods, but still mods. I wonder if they'll be, like, I wonder if they'll get a big enough player base after the update or at any point where the, or a stable enough core base that you'll start seeing more gameplay style mods to this. So there are plenty of scripts and things for the in-game scripts. Oh, that's oxide. Whoops. Thought that was ice water for a second. And then oxide. Uh, that's probably enough for now. Don't see much more on here anyway. says before finding the chunk of it. Okay, that'll do. I'll try and leave. I'll see if I can expose that to the surface so that hopefully I'll find this deposit again if I need it. Should help. Okay. Yeah, I I need to I need to build some lockers, but I needed the iron to build the lockers. Because I need to build some lockers because I've got too much stuff on me and I don't want to put a whole bunch of stuff in um the thing on the pod and I want to kinda of get everything out of the pod. Thanks so much for the bits, blue set. And it wouldn't be a survival game without mining for iron. Thanks, Minecraft. Yeah. 
I mean, it kind of makes some sense, though. Unless you're going to be mining for more basic metals. Alright, let's get this iron smelted. I need to go mine some more coal too. do that. I'm really worried I'm going to burn up all my easy coal uh, for power production and then struggle for it once I need steel. Uh, yeah, regular solar panels are pretty cheap. I'll, I was just kind of focused on trying to get towards having plants and food and water and stuff. I guess I kind of beelined that and it's taken me off making the metals that I would normally have gone for. It just kind of felt nice because it's a different approach to what I've normally taken. stuff while that's running and charging that battery. Throw that in there. Turn off my light. Um, I'm pretty sure Station is is only Steam World. Disagree, Dark Zen. Disagree. Three basic solar panels never have me covered. Yeah, I need I've always needed heaps of solar panels. Yeah, and the sandstorms destroy the basic ones, which is why mine's inside rather than outside. What I want to make is a couple of the wind turbines, so I've got something to put some power in once there's a storm. Now, I still completely disagree with you, Dark Sand. You're not going to be able to convince me of that. I have never managed to survive, whether I have a battery charger or not, on just three solar panels. It's not enough on Mars. Plus, I also reduced the solar power output for this uh, version of Mars that I'm playing. Oh. No, it's not burnt. That just goes down. Because it's inside this block, unfortunately. Because I went down off the solar panel. Oops. Uh, that's the copper I'm doing, isn't it? Spitfire, this game is quite... has some similarities to Space Engineers, but this one's more about systems engineering. 
Space Engineers is more about vehicle and building design and engineering. Um, I suspect people who like Space Engineers could like this, but I think there's probably, and this is a weird thing for me to say given that I'm not a big fan of Satisfactory and Factorio. I, I like Factorio a bit, but not Satisfactory at all. Um, it's probably more like those. There's probably more crossover in the audience of people who like Factorio to this than there is in the audience that likes Space Engineers to this, I reckon. Um, because Space Engineers is has that huge element of aesthetic design. Um, yeah, I'd agree with that, Asla. That this is more easy to understand than Redstone in Minecraft. I think that's because the systems in this aren't abstracted. It's not an abstract reason you need a thing for a thing. It's... This is... A reasonable approximation of how things work in the real world. Hey! How's it going, Dane? How's it going, Rocket? Um, station is... You reckon it needs more survival? What what sort of things do you mean by more um more survival? Yeah, space station is is survival plus PV equals NRT game. Yeah, true. And that's kind of the cool thing about it. Like any criticisms I would have for station is presumably can't like most of any the previous criticism I might have had would have come about because of those limitations that the refactor is supposed to be fixing. Uh, performance stuff so that you guys can do more with it. Okay. Let me in. Uh, need iron there. Need iron there. Got to actually read the copper. Right, so... For my carbon gas capture... I need to get a bunch more pipes because I have to pipe from there into here. There. And then have a passive vent in here. So let's get the passive vent first. Oh wait, let's just do these first. Oh, yeah, I get what you mean. Um, have Creating some sense of loss when you lose a character. Um, and I... I don't know. I reckon... And this is going to be a weird thing for me to say. I kind of reckon this has more feeling of progression than Space Engineers. It's slower... But it's, I feel like there's more because although once you get the, it's kind of like the progression once you get the, your best furnace set up. Thanks, Camille Kotz. Um, what was I doing? Locker. But I guess that's always a challenge in every survival game. It's adding that sort of thing. You can do, but it needs a design revamp, which we have coming after the refactor is finished. Okay. <laughs> that is very good to know. Um, considering I was thinking of doing some tutorials, some more, some new tutorials in this after the refactor was done, so maybe I'll hold off on that <laughs> for a little bit longer. Spare Paul, I played this obsessively for a while, but my biggest criticism, lack of progression. I don't know, I guess. Uh, 
I suppose, um... Maybe I... Maybe what I'm thinking of in terms of progression is different. I guess in terms of progression, it's like what's driving you to do the next fancy thing to improve it. Huh. Oh, thanks, Rocket. Um, yeah, I guess... So with my modifications I did to Space Engineers for Survival Impossible was all about making the progression slower but also forcing a lot of engineering into it so with straight up space engineers you've got you build your proper refinery your proper assembler and you collect enough materials to build the spaceship of your that you want or the ro rover that you want and that's where it ends but if you add a few mods or if you play force yourself to play a little bit differently you can end up with a situation where you have a whole lot of extra steps that require like a lifting vehicle, all this other sort of stuff to get to that first refinery. And then a bunch more steps to make that refinery useful and then a bunch more steps to do this. If the progression, like, I think I would personally... like it if the progression in this is in the game as in i felt like the research tree the way it works and the research stuff the way it works didn't quite um it didn't add a feeling of progression it just added some roadblocks along the way um but I, oh no i'm out of power Whoops. Let's go fix that. I wasn't sure how you would integrate research into this, though. Okay. So you... <laughs> You brought someone from Icarus across to this to do the game design stuff. Cool. I need to move that in there, but I don't know if the system's ready yet. Put these in here because that's where they're going. Uh, where do I want this to come out? Maybe over there. Caution. Uh. <laughs> Jetpack on. Yeah, I kind of hate burning resources at an arbitrary gate. I don't. I don't mind. I don't mind it in some games. Like Age of Empires wouldn't be Age of Empires without having to spend some of your resources and make the decision between spending resources on research and resources on troops. Um, but I feel like in a game like Stationeers or a game like Space Engineers, if you spend resources on research, there's no real alternative. It was because you had to. Um, you weren't... It didn't come down to a meaningful choice. And to me, like, that's that's always the thing that makes something interesting if there's a feeling of real choice involved then it doesn't really matter what it is how arbitrary or abstract it is if it feels like real choice then it's good <laughs> uh. grass up <laughs> Why do work when you have a stream of one of your games to watch? <laughs> don't don't tell him off, Gruz. Let <laughs> let Dean watch. 
Uh, no, Asla. <laughs> I am not going to attempt to say stationary space engineers five times fast without errors. Because I will have errors. Uh, I'm going to eat some of my soup. Crunchy, crunchy can of soup. Um, oh, uh, Dean, I don't, I suspect you weren't here when I said this, but I kind of miss the Kiwi voice on the suit. Which is a weird thing for an Aussie to say, I, I will point out. But I kind of miss it. Uh, why was I coming in here? A whole bunch of stuff, I think. Alright. So, I need a bunch of pipes. A lot of pipes. And I need to put the vent in here. So I was about to make the vent when I ran out of power. the yeah the network concept in this is one that's always interesting and one that I kind of struggled with <laughs> with logic circuits but that's just me being me um I reckon weirdly I don't think the control system would be that bad for console. In fact, I think this interface might even work better. It'd be slow, but it might work okay. Because, like, the original interface, you had to scroll through stuff to highlight things on it um, and assuming there was an easy way to replicate that on the controller with like using one of the thumbsticks and a modifier so that's what you were doing and then you just press F to transfer it into your hand like that'd be doable I'm not saying that they had like I don't think they've got any plans for um, releasing this on console but interface wise, I don't think it'd be the worst. I don't think it'd be that bad. <laughs> but console manufacturers are awful to deal with. So I understand, especially for games that need patches. Oh, you played it on Steam Deck. Interesting. Have you been trying Icarus on Steam Deck, Dane? Um, what am I doing? I am getting... I just need wires now, don't I? Cables. Need a bunch of cables to get the power over to that. And to move the power of... Move this into the room. And then that's... And then shoots, shoots, that's what I need. <laughs> I didn't even bother trying to boot Icarus on Steam Deck. I think it would melt it. Yeah, probably. I was just curious. Let's turn you off. I don't want to have to go outside, come, go outside, come back in again. Although I can probably set up my airlock properly now, can't I? I think. I don't think there's anything else I need for the airlock to be running properly. Yeah. Should probably set it up. Uh, 
I want us to add circuit boards powered by Lua, like what Stormworks does, replace all existing ones with template versions of that. Interesting. <laughs> also, if Splitzy applies his character changes, it will fix his headless character. Oh, I kind of liked the headless character because I felt like it was a reminder that as the um, code is for this beta, there will be bugs. It was kind of like, I, I wanted to leave it there for a little bit. But yeah, I can understand why it's not ideal from the dev point of view uh, to have me playing this with a headless character. Uh, but he's funny. Wait, is there a third person camera in this? I don't think there was. What's there? Can't remember now. Uh oh. Um. Uh oh. What did I just do? How do I fix it? How did I spawn a rover? What? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. Apparently, F, what, oh, uh-oh. Uh, -oh. <laughs> Thanks so much for the 10 gifts on Stragnon. Uh, apparently F9 spawns a rover. Huh. <laughs> it's going to be a pain, but I can walk through through how to get rid of them. Uh I was thinking I'd use autosave to get rid of them, <laughs> to be honest. Um I was going to just roll back a few minutes because that one's in a slightly bad position. <laughs> How am I in creative mode? Uh, yeah, let's, let's just... Uh, I kind of want to reload so that I've got that save and then I want to spam a whole bunch of rovers and see what happens. Oh, uh, when I created the world. Hey, thanks, Will Reed. Uh, let's leave session. See how far back that thing is. or And if it's annoyingly far back, that autosave, um, we can... I can try and be... <laughs> thanks so much, Rocket. Um, I can try and, uh, oh, this was just as I was coming out inside, I think. Inside? Outside? Which way was I going? I was going in. Oh, yeah. This isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. Let's just create a save stream before the rovers. I think the F9 button just isn't being disabled properly and non-creative. Huh. Yeah, I was pressing F keys to try and figure out which um, key was the third-person camera. <laughs> That's how I discovered that. 
F10 doesn't do anything. Uh, anyway, let's let's go back to what I was doing. I don't think we need to spam rovers, but now I know how I can do it at the end of the string. Hold mouse scroll. Nope, that's not working. I used to know it. Remember how long it was before we even had a pause menu? I think for a while 2% of all units sold were being refunded because we didn't have a pause menu. <laughs> oh, shift plus mouse scroll. There we go. Oh yeah, I don't even have a... Huh, cool. Uh, let's get a head back. Let's do that. Uh, leave session. Exit. Uh, change appearance. Oh, let's go that here. Why not? And a beard. There we go. I have a head. I am no longer a headless body of Agnew. Oh, I can do that in game. Can I? Where do I do it in game? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, this isn't better. <laughs> <laughs> Change appearance. Oh, right there. I'm blind as a... Good job, Splitzy. Good job. <laughs> well, I've got to screenshot this before I don't have it anymore. Uh, sorry, that shouldn't minimize. That's annoying. <laughs> yep, head's back. Uh, iron in there. Let's make some pipes, because that's what I've done. Let's make some cables, because that's going to take forever. <laughs> Sorry, not Simon. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, I did use up all my all my pipes. And I need to put that vent back on the wall. Yeah, I definitely need a cap act to really break things. The man who managed to get his um submarine so high in the air in Subnautica that he couldn't reach it even in creative mode. I, I, I'm going to save the rover spam for the end of the stream because I'm pretty sure I'm going to make the game crash. Removing a head doesn't really count as breaking something. Uh, depends how you remove the head, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> if Kapak was ever systematic about something, he'd make a great QA person. I think still the greatest glitch I've seen Capac 2 um, was getting off the tram in the intro of Half-Life. <laughs> That's fair point, Laws. Um, yeah, I think that's that ranks as his best glitch that he's pulled off.
Or at least the best one I'm aware of. He's probably got some others that he's done that he that I just don't know, but he probably hasn't remembered them at this point. If Capac were more systematic, he wouldn't be as good at breaking things. Yeah, fair. And yeah. Um. All right. Focus. Let's see. Focus. I don't have any focus. I've got an. I've got to get enough cables to move that into there. I then need to pipe from there up to that, and then around from that pipe to there. And then in theory, that should be everything I need, and I can just burn some coal and move some carbon dioxide in here and get some plants going. That should be it. Oh, it's going to get super spicy hot in here, I think, when that happens. I feel like Capac is industrialized chaos, which is what is so great. Also, his indignation when it all goes chaotic is the best. That's so true, Rocket. Um, Capac being upset when he broke something because it didn't break the way that he wanted it to. Um, yeah, that is that is um, peak Capac. Annoyed at things not breaking the way you wanted them to break when you tried to break them. Uh, I've got an okay amount of water for the moment. It won't take me long. But what I thought I'd do is get the CO2 in here and then I'll start uh, working on a water melting thing and I'll put it probably in the floor. I just need to be able to make radiators. What do I need for radiators? Ideally. Kit liquid radiator. Steel. Okay. So I need to get to steel. In fact, I should probably be getting to steel anyway. The solar panel is indoors because of the storms that'll do damage to the panel. Just something I'm thinking of. I'm here. Smoke furnace. I'm guessing I need the electronics thing for any sort of solar panel, right? Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. Kit. Auto lathe, where is it? Electronics printer. Let's set up the airlock properly now because I can as well. <laughs> yeah, lots. I, I remember when you said that one. Splitzy is, let's make the, take these game mechanics and emulate real life. Capac is, let's build something I would expect to see in real life and get upset when it doesn't work in game. So true. know why I'm trying to make this neat at this stage in the game, but I'm doing it. Jetpack on. In theory, I shouldn't need the radiators on the pipes because I think there's some heat transfer, but it's so slow without the radiators that you really do need them. Jetpack on. In the past, I, that's what I found anyway. Okay. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh, wait. That That's... No, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, no, that's bad. Oh, nuts. I did a dumb. Uh, I think this comes with a valve, yeah. So 
So what I just did there was equalize all of inside with this pipe network. Fortunately, it is closed off, so it's not going anywhere else, but it means that I've just moved all that into here. But what I probably want to do is not equalize them all the time, because if I do that, as I was just saying, I will lose heat. I'll bleed heat through this pipe. Which, bleeding heat through that pipe might not actually be that bad. Because I think I've overheated inside. Let's go get my disc thingy. Out a door. In a door. Gas sensor. External vent. Internal vent. External pressure is like uh, one. Let's just set that to 50 for now. Now we should be good. Cycle. Power low. Um, you don't need water and steel all that quickly. Yeah, steel more so than water. Dark sand. Good little 1.44 megabyte floppy. Or as people uh, about 10 years younger than me know it, the save symbol. Oh, it could be a zip disk, that's true. I guess. <laughs> Though, I feel like that's even worse, somehow. Ah uh, yes, yeah, 666 Red. This is just me playing solo because I was keen to check out the beta of this next update. Um, my plan is to grab Capac and get him to come back in with me once it gets released proper. Because I think... Because I wasn't sure whether it was particularly buggy or not. I'd seen a few things on... Um, on Twitter and stuff about it and have a few people in the Discord talking about the game and some of the bugs that they'd seen about it that were a mixture of funny and just odd. So I wasn't keen to bring Cap back in until it was a bit more stable because I know he would want to... He wouldn't want to have to restart. So if I'm bringing him in, I want to make sure it's as good an experience as I can make for him. I saw a sleeper build where someone had converted a floppy drive and a floppy disk into an SD card reader for us. You insert the SD card under the sliding metal shield on the disk, and then when you put it in the floppy drive, it connects to the PC. That's cool. Oh, is multiplayer not quite there yet on the refactoring as well, Simon? 
that is good to know. I am glad I made this call then. <laughs> Do it solo for now. Uh, I was going to make some lockers, but I've run out of power again. All right. Let's cycle and let's move the power generation. Thought that might have been hand drop. Oh, I was meant to make ah, shoots to feed in. Nuts. Knew there was something else I was supposed to be doing. Single player is basically in parity but running much better in the beta. Multiplayer is still being bug fixed a lot. Mostly it's just things not serialized, like traders. Um, I'm guessing serialized means that they're they're not actually treated they're not the same or something. completely re oh that's right you did completely replace the multiplier i remember reading that oh i also placed that in the wall i remember reading those patch notes about the multiplier being completely redone not sure how much i understood of it because i right now don't remember how much i i can't remember a lot of it but yeah i remember reading that It was, uh, yeah. There's a there's a patch note out there for those people out there uh, in chat who actually understand this stuff. Um, I probably don't want this running straight off the generator. Or like dev notes, I should say. Basically, in the past, we would send data changes as messages, but each message has a cost about 300 bytes for the address and header, and then overhead handling the messages. Ah. So if you can get rid of that aspect of it, it becomes much more efficient, I'm assuming. That's done. Huh. I thought someone was knocking on the door, but it's just my dog's tail wagging and hitting the <laughs> hitting the wall. Pop that in. Let's grab that. This I should probably plug in this door actually. I think I've got just enough cables to do so. Yeah. That worked out perfectly. Uh. Alright, oh, I have to turn on the generator to get the power to turn off... The... Gotcha. 
Okay. Generator on. Closed door. Let's have a look at this atmosphere. Oh yeah, there's our CO2. Now we manually put all the data changes together in a byte array. So... And all the data is compressed together and sent in chunks. So it's very efficient, both in bandwidth and handling. We also compress the byte array as well, which is an added bonus. Oh, cool. I think I vaguely understand what that means. <laughs> So previously syncing a float four bytes could cost three hundred and four bytes to send. Now you set now you add that four bytes, compress it, so the true cost comes down from three hundred and four bytes to less than four bytes. Huh. This has also re resulted in it being much more reliable, however, there are still parts of the game that have not been hooked up to the new system, hence why MP isn't ready there. I see. Um, so someone was asking earlier during this, earlier on, whether they're, like, how much their PC might be able to handle station is. With the changes, do you think there's going to be improvements for lower end PCs, or is it more, the changes will be more noticeable for later gameplay? Um, if that makes any sense. Like, do you think it's going to make differences right across the board, or do you think it's mostly going to be felt in the later game? Lower NPCs should have dramatic improvements as well. Cool. Yeah, I thought, I thought that would be the case, but I didn't want to make the assumption... That's awesome. Um, I also need to keep an eye on this pressure in this room because I might have to open that door. Oh no, we're good. We're good. And this battery is mostly charged, so I'm going to put it in my suit. How are we looking on this side of the pipe network? 127 degrees. Delightful. That's a lot of CO2 as well. Yeah, I'm not going to need to operate this very much. I can probably just open this door now. And turn this off. Lower end PC PCs will run much better if they join a server or play single player. For example, in single player, previously we're always hosting. Removing that alone makes made huge differences for lower end PCs. Ah, oh, okay. Yep. That makes sense. Uh... Let's bring this out again. Shouldn't have kept putting it away. All right, now we've got up to 3% CO2. We've got a little bit of bad stuff, though. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to... F oh, I know why I've got the hydrogen in there. Oh, that's annoying. It's because I've got the production stuff in there. I want a separate greenhouse. Or I have to move all my production facilities outside. I'm going to need to set up a filtration system so I don't kill my plants. I know it's a tiny amount of hydrogen, but it, it always seems to be, like, risky for me to leave it, and I don't want to burn my seeds. <laughs> I 
Filter low. I'm sure I'll have fun trying to get the hydrogen and the stuff out. It's not too hard. All I needed to set up is another atmospherics, but I will... Um, I think next up I'm going to sort out my water supply because I'll pipe it into the floor of this greenhouse slash room because I need to cool it off and give it a bit more headroom for expanding. Oh, I, I did use my welder inside. That's what I did with it. Ah, oh, forgot. Yeah, because I welded up the electro printer. Everything else I'd welded up before I actually sealed this place. Poop. All right. Um, well, why is my light going off? My keyboard broken? No. Huh? Okay, that's weird. Ah, ah, ah. It's not working. Uh okay, my light's stuck on. Oh, that's a known bug, is it? Okay. Right. Nope. Still not working. Oh, whatever. I'll just leave my light on. I tend to anyway. I forget. So, water. Have we got enough daylight? Maybe. Let's go see if I can find any water ice around here. Jetpack on. That could be water ice or it could be silicon. Looks like silicon. Oh, I kind of want to grab some silicon anyway. No, no, stop getting distracted. You need to get ice. Heading is my base in. No, it's easy to see anyway. <clears throat> and of course I find a single thing that's got next to nothing in it. Casts. Jetpack on. Oh, half the voxel size. Um, <laughs> that sounds like a <laughs> hmm. If you can halve the voxel size and the game still works, do you know what I'd really like? And I know it's totally pointless. But I'd like a mode on the drill that really delicately removes stuff. Um, something I wanted in Icarus, but again, largely pointless. Um, but I kind of wanted anyway was a pick that takes tiny little chunks out of the voxels in the rocks so I could carve them. So I could make rock carvings in Icarus. <laughs> yeah, I figured in Icarus you probably could because uh, make something like that. Like a little precision little drill so that I can, if I have a, <clears throat> particularly for like outposts, if I have a rock near my base, I can carve it to a specific shape. That's not going to be anywhere near enough ice water. 
I need a water ice. Uh, to be fair, Lohan, my avatar doesn't just look like wasted. It actually looks a bit like me right now. So it's been about two weeks since I shaved. Because I got lazy. Uh, let's get... What I'm thinking I'll do is lay out a bit of extra base out here. And then put a bit of equipment for melting the ice into some pipes. Hey, Tex. <laughs> Thanks, Nuki World. So you want to travel across the universe and write your name in the snow. Kinda. Who doesn't? Do you have the eggs still on the drop pod? Is it worth saying how long until they go past? I think the eggs are gone already. Uh, oh, wait. Did I just come in here with no power in that battery? I did! Alright, what do I need? Oh, I can't find pretty recipes without power. i got to figure out what I need to make more solar panels and wind turbines. I need more power. I'm... Relying too heavily on coal right now. Um, Mutant Bob, if you saw the last stream I did of Icarus you'd have seen that some of the newer missions actually do have um, more to them than just a single goal. But it would be cool if there were optional extra missions you could pick up in Icarus um, to make you want to stay on a drop longer, especially with the change in the way the drop timers work now. So it's in-game time. Because um, then it could entice people to put their characters at risk for reward. And yeah, I figured I figured that was part of the plans. Um actually, I'm gonna close that. And I'm gonna hope it doesn't explode. Because I may want some of that up CO2. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm really looking forward to those um, new missions, Rocket. the The last one I played, um, it felt really good, because it felt it felt like it was evolving as I went. I dropped onto it thinking, "Oh yeah, this will be a quick mission," but that's a big reward. I wonder why that is. Um, <laughs> and it just kept ex extending, and I ran out of time, and I had to come back later that night to do it because I was like, "I'm not going to be able to finish this." Getting power back, and then I'm going to make more power stuff. <laughs> make a slide block. Um... I know it's I know it's not likely to happen in Station Ears, but one of the things I would love would be custom rovers like you can do in Space Engineers. Um, having a Station Ears complexity and having to design a fairly basic utility rover, I think would be kind of cool. Um, because there's so much extra design to process to go into it. I am looking for solar panel.
Is it kit basic solar panel? Kit solar panel basic, that's what I want. 10 iron, 2 gold, 10 copper. Oh, you have talked about doing that. You made a prototype of it. It's very possible building it out of slots almost. But we haven't had our big scoping meeting yet. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I totally understand that adding something like that would be massive in scope. Um, in the way that it had... The systems you'd need to have in the game to make that work would be big. Uh, and yeah, I, I assumed you you guys had changed the way you were going to do the mothership type thing because I hadn't really heard anything about it for a while. Uh, I need more copper. I have a small amount on me. Just make sure that when the rover goes kaboom and wheel needs to roll away from the crash. <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> oh, Rocket, that, that is awesome. Told you lead designer was very curious about your hammer idea and he said, uh, I like it, carving pick. Let me try it out. Oh, awesome. Now, I have to give full credit on that particular thing to uh, Pav, one of the guys I play with who... He carved a face into a rock, and I went, yes, I want to do this more. <laughs> uh, can I find copper without getting lost? Let's see. There was copper in one of these spots right under the base. Was it this one? I think so. Is there any more copper here? Doesn't look like it. All right, Jet let's go a bit on. further afield. Oh, does the rover blow away in storms? Do you know what? I kind of like the idea that the rover can get shifted in storms if we could build structures big enough to with a big enough gateway in them to park the rover inside. Oops. Jetpack on. <laughs> Just merge it all into Icarus. Sometimes a drop will be station ears. <laughs> Oh man, how upset people would get. Oof. Power low. I feel like that'd be even evil for an April Fool's thing. I realize I'm meant to be getting copper, but I found iron and I need more iron at some point anyway. And it's about to be daylight, so I should find more copper in a second. Assuming I can find it. All right, that'll do. Jetpack on. That looks like copper. Yeah, Rocket, do you, do you have any um, thoughts on the mining progression in Stationers that you're able to share? Or One of the things I'd like 
to be able to work out is how the um, station mounted mining thing actually works because it took oh actually no I did end up getting it working at some point but like having something like that that um, potentially gets higher yield out of each of these thingies so that there's a point in building up the infrastructure for it I did realize um, when I was loading this up this morning, I have more hours in this than Empyreon at this stage. Quite a few more. Which I hadn't expected. So I played Empyreon lots back when I first came, back when I first bought it. <laughs> the station is sponsored by the Dyson Hand Miner. Um, speaking, speaking of, uh, all your various games, Rocket, um, how, how are things, oh no, Storm, oh no, 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 I think this was the way my base was. Probably should have moved more stuff off the pod. Though last time my pod just blew into a hole. Oh dear. Oh dear. I also now regret not having a wind turbine. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be finding my base. And I probably don't want to walk too far. I, th I thought I came over this hill though. So it should be around the other side if I follow this around. This is bad. <clears throat> I guess as long as I continue walking around this mountain, assuming it's not a long mountain range, I shouldn't get too far away from my base. Maybe? Well, I didn't I didn't put anything down on my base because I'd been finding it and I hadn't walked that far and I forgot that storms. I also forgot how long they go for. Yeah, rocket you guys definitely have um, nailed weather feeling good. Like, actually feeling meaningful in Icarus. Although, uh, obviously, and it makes kind of sense, as you progress further, the weather becomes less impactful. Um, but yes, Space Engineer's weather is, is broken. It's pretty, though, sometimes, when it's not bugged. Um, okay, I'm lost. I should probably just stand still. 
I actually have no idea where my base is at all. That's something I've mined, though. So I can't... Oh, yeah, that looks like my mining, not... Yeah, that's my mining. So I'm not too far from base. Like, I haven't wandered so far away that I'm completely miles from it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Disorientation, fear, and that feeling of isolation. Like, I've, with, um, with Roman making the TeamSpeak plugin for Space Engineers where you have directional audio through TeamSpeak in Space Engineers, um, it made me think of a whole bunch of things like, uh, if you, if in-game voice communication was what more of us ended up using having storms mess with that having all this sort of stuff you've got extra layers you can play with oof <laughs> that's not what you want when you're gonna take it when you're gonna pee oh this happened to me when I went to pee in Antarctica and the wind picked up. Oof. Uh, admittedly, waiting till this is over is not ideal, but what can I do? And I mean, that's, that's kind of... I could have prepped for this. I could have prevented this being a thing. So I shouldn't need to wait for this more than a once if I remember to prep for it. Yeah, there's a beacon you can track from your tablet. I did not turn the beacon on because I didn't think I needed to because I went out during the day. Oh, uh, but I don't ramp out of the holes. I get back out so that my ramp won't tell me which way I've needed to go. Hmm... And yeah, my, my power issue was a problem. <laughs> Overconfidence, the slow killer. Yep. As uh, my battery is now down to 30%. I don't have any coal. Ooh, maybe I should just wander around looking for coal. Maybe I'll chance upon some. Because uh, without the coal, I'm not going to have any power in our turn, and I'm probably going to die. Start leaving a trail, cut the ground. Uh, how much battery do I have in this? Yeah, enough. That's a good good idea. Eh. There's oxide. There's silicon. Oh, I'm going to need some of that, so let's grab it. Try and make this time useful, even though I'm completely lost. Oh, this storm's going to last till nightfall, isn't it? It's night. Uh, poop. I'm in trouble. I think I'm going to die. I don't know how to fix that. Oh, I really can't see anything. <laughs> it's even worse. It's like headlights in fog. Yeah, I can't turn my headlight off. It's it's bugged. Uh, 
Apparently the uh, go into the menu workaround isn't working for me. I do have more batteries though, because I've got the battery in my drill and if I and the battery in my grinder. Oh, 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 oh! Storm's passed. Um. Jetpack on. Okay, that's somehow worse. <laughs> oh no. Uh... Oh. Oh dear. <sighs> I'm not I'm not screwed. I'm not screwed. I can I reckon I can eke enough power out of my stuff to survive this. If I stop using my drill, which is not ideal because it was the way to sh know where I've been. Um, but if I save the battery from my drill, I've got other batteries there. It should last until I find my way home, maybe? Have no fear, for fear is the little death that kills me over and over. Without fear, I die but once. I feel like Capac needs a motto like that. Oh. Power critical. Power low. Nope. Light still doesn't work. Someone's saying go 300 degrees. Let's try it for a bit. Don't walk aimlessly in the wilderness is usually step one in survival situations. It's true. It's true. Uh, I believe the idea... Um, Rocket can definitely correct me on this. Uh, I believe the idea is if you're in a place where there is some degree of habitation or likely to be some sort of flowing water. Just head in straight in a direction until you hit the water and then follow it. There should be some degree of light on the base. Uh, probably red LEDs saying it has no power. I think. I think they should be visible. Oh, cool. Let's grab this. If I survive, I'm going to need this. Oh, yeah. Good point, Rocket. It depends on if someone knows where you are. If someone knows where you are, you should stay where you are. That's what I learned. Uh, that looks to be most of the coal. Obviously, the answer is start walking until you reach a river then. Pulling out your walkie-talkie set to the emergency channel, <laughs> yes. Or an EPIRB if you're going remote, yeah. Made my old man get one of them, because he's prone to doing risky things and had a farm. My assumption is most of the time it was left at the house though and he never actually used it, but thought that counts, right? Uh, 
Oh, here we go. Uh, from Taxfire. Public service message. There's a new app called What Three Words that helps rescuers locate you. It breaks up the world into 10 foot grids that are identified by three words. Um, there's also... I know for New South Wales, the, there's um, apps you can get that are intended to call, that you can use to call emergency services instead of um, actually calling them. And that will directly send through to them your GPS info from your phone. Assuming it has a signal or any other location information it can get hold of. So particularly if you're like in a built up area and you come across something that you need to get help for um, and you don't know the street names, that can be useful. I guess the advantage of the pick three words things versus asking someone to read out their GPS location, assuming that they can't send it, would be that people are more easily able to send that over. Like, people who are unfamiliar are better able to say that. Whereas trying to read out a GPS location, especially if it's got 12 degrees of... Like, it's 12 decimal points to it or something like that, is not going to be as easy for some people to communicate I might be digging my doom hole as I'm now down to 8% power in my suit but at least when I find my corpse if I find my corpse it'll be full of coal so I'll have plenty of power there's that that's good right to be the end of the coal situation. Oh, um, <laughs> Rocket slash Simon, if you guys are still there, um, is, um, have you guys talked any at all about heading to PAX, assuming it doesn't get cancelled again this year? In Melbourne. That looks like our sky is lightening a bit, maybe? Yes, it is. Good. Uh, let's open up. Let's grab the drill. Oh, you guys think you're going to Gamescom? Yeah, I wasn't planning Gamescom yet. Uh, possibly next year I think it'll still be too much of a hassle for me I've never been to Gamescom I was meant to go to Gamescom 2020 and well we all know what happened there on. Um, like I'd booked tickets and everything accommodation Okay. Okay. This is not good. I think it's this mountain though, because I remember walking down and going over that uranium. 
I think my base is on the other side here. <laughs> yes, I get proper lost. <laughs> Any games conference where the largest exhibit is Farming Simulator. Oh, uh, yep, that sounds like... Yes, I found it! I found my way home! I actually remembered some useful landmarks. Haha! <laughs> I don't know how that managed to happen, but I did it. I did it, I did it, I did it. Yeah, I should probably build something on top of this mountain. Yeah, tower with a blinking light. It needs something. Oh, um... Is the draw distance increased in the... Update. And let's throw all that in there. Why well, you know let me put that in there? Power low. Oh, you haven't implemented the rendering changes yet. Cool. Alright, um, actually I should probably, no, that's not what I put the thing in, I put it in the drill. As a German, I can say Germany is a strange mystical land where point and click adventures still live somehow. <laughs> yeah, Guardian. Uh. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. I think Station Years was one of the games where I was really envious of Capac having the better CPU than I have. Spitfire, so you want a um, warmer, warmer, warmer style way of finding your way home. Um, yeah, Tex, I think, I think if PAX is anything to go by, I will mostly spend my time at Gamescom in board games. Um... I think the reason for that is you can get an experience with board games at these conventions that you can't get elsewhere because there's more people around. Whereas, like, I'm lucky enough that most of the time I get to play lots of co-op games. So that, that side of the experience isn't terribly different for me. That doesn't surprise me at all, Rocket, um, that Germany was your top-selling region for Stationeers. Because there are more Germans that watch my stream than there are... The, like, at times, it's almost double the number of Aussies. Which, you know, by numbers of actual people makes sense, but by number of people who speak English and would prefer to watch an English-speaking stream is... Slightly more, I think there's a lot of German interest in engineering. <clears throat> um, right, I'm going to. How long has this got left? I need that copper before I go back in, because I was out of copper. That's what I went off mining for anyway. Yeah, Darth Lighty, it, uh, but I'm also talking on my YouTube channel. So Space Engineers, Station Engineers, uh, this sort of content, 
um, that's watched whenever pe it suits people, they're still... Um, I think my German audience is typically between 6 and 8%. Uh, hang on. Uh, Schlupfsee, there's a, there's a scene in, uh, Scrubs that I feel perfectly illustrates German. <laughs> wow. Oh, I also just, uh, cause... Sarah Chalky can speak German and she um, illustrates the various different forms of what you can do. So it's, I don't I don't feel like it's any different to other languages. It's just you can be more... There are more sounds that allow you to be aggressive. <laughs> yeah, Rocket, I just saw your picture you sent me on Twitter. Definitely not um, stream safe, but... <laughs> Also, exactly the type of fine picking at things that I was thinking of. <laughs> uh, right. More solar panels. Uh, let's just stop at three for now. Let's get some wiring because this is more efficient. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, not stream safe. Our lead designer is Australian. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm an I'm a rare Australian in a lot of ways, uh, with um, most of my language being safe for my grandma to hear. Oh no! Oh oh! Got it. What have I just done? Doop, doop, doop. Is my grandma's language safe for me to hear? Yes. Yes. It's, um... It's pretty easy for me to not swear on stream. Because I... Have had many, many years of not doing so in certain situations. <laughs> Although, there are other situations where it's, you know... happened. I think I've mentioned this on stream before. I don't have any personal issues with it. I just decided that I didn't want to exclude anyone from my streams by saying things that meant that they couldn't watch with their kids around or couldn't watch with anyone around who might be upset by it. So just made it more accessible. Although speaking on the German language thing, I am still serious about wanting to learn that um, for when I do have definite plans to go to Gamescom. Or at least learn enough that um, those of you who come meet Capac and I can be amused by how much or little of it I can speak. 
I also like when I go to a country that has another language than English as their main language to at least know enough to politely say I don't know how to say much. I feel it's um, kind of a bit of a respect thing as a tourist. No, um, you need to know things like uh, how to ask, how to order two beers. You need to know stuff like uh, you need to know the local equivalent of cheers. Well, that's the other thing in German. You have to remember which beer you want. It's not good enough to just order a beer. I know I have no need to order any number of beers in Germany. I've, I have been to Germany on a couple of occasions. Um, One of my friends from uni... Uh, she married a German guy who was also in our group of friends uh, who was living in Australia and their wedding was over in Germany. Um, so I have... And I've also obviously travelled to Europe a few times. And I very much enjoyed my time in Berlin the first time I was there. Right up until I injured myself. Although... Was still amusing at the hospital. Uh, I also spent, uh, I think it was four weeks in Switzerland, uh, staying with my brother when he lived in, worked in Switzerland. Yeah, Tex. I suspect if you'd taken Spanish, you might have actually been able to hold on to more of it, given you live in Texas. Uh, we got three solar panels. I need to go in there and make the stuff now for the expansion on the base to do the water stuff. And then once I get the water in, then I can start figuring out how to temperature control and regulate the greenhouse slash room. Uh, just one sec. I'm going to fill up my water bottle. wake up Charlie by stepping over the top of her. How long is that silicon going to take? Ages. Oh, uh, actually that was only three. Yep, that's almost done. Smelt a bit more iron. Just think about what I want to do here. If I expand out this way, let's grab that tool and set it to flatten. Just also trying to think about where I'll put the water in the floor. I think what I'll do is potentially aim to expand the room out further this way and eventually put an interior in an, in an interior airlock in 
between the rooms so that I've got a greenhouse that's separate from the production area. So I want chutes to be able to keep this room closed, chutes just to go through there and a loading thing for it. I want more iron for out here and then the piping stuff that I need. But I feel like some of that... Oh, uh, actually no, it's probably only the radiator that needed the steel. So I can probably get that water system set up so that I can at least fill my water bottle. And then, once I've done that, I can look at making a furnace to get steel. Splitzy, do you have ulterior motives for that anterior interior airlock? Yes, Laws, I do. It took focus, but I got there. Whoa! Talus Ginger! <laughs> Thank you so much for 50 gift subs. Whoa. Thank you very, very much. And... Iron. Oh, you got text with it. <laughs> power low. Oh, super power low. Nope, we're at fifty percent. We're fine. A gift from a recently employed lurker. Congrats! Glad you got a job. Um, I imagine that feels very good. Probably about as good as me leaving my job. Weirdly. Um, yeah, Darth Lighty, my way to temperature control my greenhouse, uh, I mentioned it earlier in the stream, but is basically thermal capacitance so that I can get to the, once I, so once I get to the right temperature, it doesn't, sh it takes ages to shift. Uh, and then, um, after that, have an aircon thing that will only need to kick in occasionally. So you can kind of be easy about it make furnace put one oxygen put one volatile and ignite put stack of ice in it your water problem is solved uh yes that's sort of what i can do although in once the sun comes up i should just be able to stick the ice in a regular furnace because it'll be warm enough uh Iron frames. Let's start with that. That's what I need. Oh, here's the ice crusher thing too, isn't there? How many frames do I want? I probably want eight. Let's get eight. And that's eight. Alright, stop. Um, need iron plate, iron sheets now. Yeah, ice in furnace is the old way. Ah, oh, cool. So you have to heat, a, heat the water above frozing. That's easy. I have a very easy system for heating it. It's called piping it through my um, <laughs> furnace room and closing the door. That'll heat my water up nicely. Uh, let's move these into here. These into here. Not to close the door. Uh, 
And next up, so that's to build the floor. Let's go to here. And we want Ice Crusher. Needs more gold. One Ice Crusher. So from the Ice Crusher... Actually, I'm going to place this down because I can't remember what it looks like. It has two outputs. I think it has a gas and a liquid output from memory. Oh, and I need more iron sheets for it. Does anyone remember what it needs after the iron sheets? Because I kind of don't want to weld this in here. Or is there a way I can tell? Uh, ice crusher. Requirements, welding torch, iron sheet, two cable cores. Cool. Got enough cables. And now we need... Uh, I think I have some more pipe over here. I do. So I'll just use the pipe for storage of the nitrogen for the time being. Uh, but I might also get a canister storage. Whoa. Huh. That just flung out at me. Uh, next up, I need... Eh. So that's... Oh, pipe heaters. Kit ice crusher. Kit heat exchanger. Um... Is a heat exchanger exchanging between pipes? I'm guessing. Insulated liquid pipe kit. Kit okay, and look. Um, kit liquid pipe. Let's make a bunch of those because I'm going to need them. Yes, between pipes. Cool. Yeah, I need the water bottle storage thing. That's the next thing I need, isn't it? It's probably enough for that for now. Can of storage. Liquid tank connector. Liquid tank. Volume pump. Wall cooler. What about liquid tank? Radiator. What? Liquid tank, canister, liquid. Is the liquid canister storage the water bottle? Or is it a separate canister? I think it's that one. Heat exchangers can be used to normalize temps between two independent closed loops. Good for keeping dirty furnace gas separate to breathable air. While still exchanging the heat that you need to. No, look. So where's the water bottle filler? Is that over here? Nope. Nope. Uh, 
Oh, item kit, water bottle filler. Right there in front of me. I'm so glad I smelted that silicon. Okay, so we got our crusher, we've got our pipes, we've got our things for filling canisters. In fact, I probably want to bring this with me anyway, because I'll need it to fill, the, to do water stuff. Um, okay. Let's hope. I don't have to go back and forth too many times. I do have liquid pipes. I have them in my left hand. And... Let's add our space. Because I need much space. So I find if I build things too compact... Too com... Too compact... Uh, I really struggle to get my head around what needs to be where. Pipes for hands. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't get the insulated pipes because I didn't think I'd need them. Right. Ice crusher. Probably didn't need all that space, but oh well, whatever. I did it now. Ice goes in. Huh. Oh, yep, 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 yep. All makes sense. What the? That was weird. So if I go water bottle filler and that could tank storage and gas tank storage. I should be able to link these up. I will probably want more. I'm definitely going to want a larger pipe network later, but I got so little water ice, I don't think I need it right now. Uh, my plan, obviously, being to pipe it over to the greenhouse, but I, I don't have enough water to fill a network like that to any reasonable extent to make it worthwhile. There we go. Um, yeah, Tex, I wonder if I'm, I'm struggling to feel confident about whether I would recommend this to you as to whether I'd, I think you'd enjoy it. Because I think you could, but equally, I think you could get frustrated. And I'm not sure which way it'd go. I don't feel confident. It's 
minus nine. Let's chuck that in there and turn it on. And I'm out of power. Turn it on. Now let's have a look with our analyzer. We have some pressure of nitrogen that's quite high. Uh, as well as... Oh no, that's not quite high. That's fine. 60 megapascals that's become the problem. Uh, and we have water at minus 46.9 degrees. So let's check if people are right. Can I fill my water bottles here? I cannot. I need to heat it. As long as the multiplayer doesn't put him in menus for hours on end, I think he'd come out ahead of the average so far. <laughs> Power yeah, Lawrence, well, you're probably right there. And as long as it's uh, more stable than... Um, uh, Snow Runner. All right, I gotta go in and make more liquid pipes. Uh, pulls that battery. Yeah. Make more liquid pipes and run them into that room. The lo the new lowest bar. It's more stable than Snow Runner. That's it is true, Odin Lord. There are a lot of games that are fun with your friends that are not fun in any other circumstance. Um, that's why I feel very lucky that I get to play games with Capac, Wasted, Tex, DE, etc. As much as I have everyone, that, as much as I do, because it adds a lot to the experience. Like especially Capac, because given we've been friends for decades uh i was coming in here for pipe water pipe no not that pipe Uh, yeah, I guess I, c I could try a heater, but what I'm trying to, I'm going to see if I can do it, if I can get the heat passively. So my plan here is, should I know, my plan here is to pipe that water into the furnace room. And in the furnace room, I mean in the uh, generator room, the generator room should get hot enough that even through the pipes we should get some heat transfer. I'm interested to see how effective or not it is. Thermal exchanges for water. There's, there are radiators, but I need um, steel, and I haven't gotten myself up to steel yet. Which I guess should probably be on next on my list. Uh, indeed, laws. That would be a telling exchange. Known each other for decades. Friends for years. Uh, no. Come back and I have been friends for decades too. I think that was all I was coming inside for.
Um, I'm not sure how much thermal exchange happens with pipes with and without radiators. I genuinely don't know how much difference it makes. Um, which is kind of my part of my reasoning for wanting to do what I'm about to, what I'm about to do. Because I'd like to, I'd like to know whether this is whether what I'm trying here is even feasible, or if I'm going to have to get the steel for the radiators. Oh, no, that's a bad idea. Nope, that's some inside. Uh... Just heard a scratching sound in the background of my mic. I'm not sure if it would have trans uh, carried through, but that was uh, Charlie having a sleep dream. A little running dream. Yeah, I guess I am sort of water cooling a generator right now. That is a good point. So it's 82 degrees in there. And my pipe is... 41.7. Now it's minus 31, minus 30. It's getting warmer outside. My... I don't think this does what I want it to do. 115 degrees in there. I think I do need a radiator. I forgot to build a chute again. What I can't work out is how much better are insulated pipes versus non-insulated pipes. Because I, I kind of assumed that they were in sort of a hierarchy. You have insulated pipes at the bottom for the least exchange of heat with their surroundings. Next up, you have your regular pipes. And then at the top, in terms of heat exchange, you have your radiators. But I don't know where the regular pipes sit in that range. I don't know if they they feel like they're closer to the insulated pipe than they are to the radiator end of things. Because this is getting warmer but it is very slow. Uh, yeah, Mr. Calzone, I felt like trying out the new update. Well, the beta of the new update. It is true. Water does take a lot of energy to change its temperature. That's kind of real-world physics. Um... Alright, well, that's the case. Let's let's just make some steel. Uh, where we got? Kit furnace. Yeah, true. If I get steel, I can make a station battery, which would be nice. Y 
Yeah, that that was kind of my thought, Zeppelin 2, is that the pipes are actually pretty well insulated for the normal range of temperatures, as in the exchange happens pretty slowly. Uh, but when you're in extreme environments, the, that's where you need the insulated stuff. So like when Kapaka and I were on my modded version of Europa, we needed the insulated pipes because it was so cold outside. Uh, Jimmy, the solar panels are inside because they can take damage during storms. Um, yeah, I guess the heat exchanger would work. What do I need for the heat exchanger? Need steel anyway. Ah, uh, no, Tex. There's no way to mount them underneath the roof panels. And if I did, it would sort of defeat some of the sunlight getting in for my... S um, what this is meant to be a greenhouse. It's just not quite there yet. Oh man, this is slow. Okay, we have a furnace. I'm just going to take it outside and start setting it up because I can't remember what I need for it. Yes, the drop pod can get blown away by the wind. Or at least mine has before. Uh, which means I probably should get stuff off it. That's what I wanted, wasn't it? That's how I like it. Okay. Furnace made. I need to... This one doesn't need a power hookup at all, does it? I shouldn't need to worry about the liquid output because I won't have any liquids. Or will that cause pressure issues? Hmm. Output, input. Uh, I think I left... The all right. So I need my valve. I need a passive vent. Valve, passive vent, and... What's it? Uh, Talon Sword, you don't have to worry about dusty solar panels. You just have to worry about the surface of them taking damage from the storm coming across. Yeah, Tex, there's no there's no custom vehicles in this. Uh when when Rocket was in the stream before, he was saying that they do have some ideas around having such things in the game eventually, but they're not sure whether it'll be within scope or not. Um the game is very much about building a base. Kind of fitting the stationary part of stationers. Uh, the rover isn't custom though. You can build one, but it's not a custom thing, like in Space Engineers. That 
That should be all I need for the furnace. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Gruz. I don't even need to build the rover. I just need to press F9. Yeah, it's not spaceship in ears. Oh, puck. Alright. Let's go hunting for some volatiles and some iron. Oh, there's some volatiles over there. So I'm heading 77 degrees. Oh, thank you for the heads up about the 14% power. Let's turn around. I would play a game called Spaceship Engineers. Just a bit unwieldy. I wonder if you could shorten it. Indeed. Oh, let's do it. Still set to flatten. That's going to be the only volatile in that deposit, isn't it? No, it's not. Yes. Good, good, good. Uh, that'll do, actually. For now, I don't need a lot. Oh! That's... I didn't do the thing that I normally do before these streams of... Um bringing up the stationer's wiki so I have all of the different alloy ratios up, ready to go. I'm going to grab some lead. So I'm going to probably want some solder soon. Because I was just trying to remember the ratio for the fuel for just dropping the things in is 1 to 1 I thought usually do, or is it 2 to 1 oxide to volatile? Um, and then steel is, um, wait, 77 should be like 250 something. There it is. I can see the red glow. Yeah, I don't have the power to run a light yet. I've kind of... I've done this in a very odd order today. It's it's weird. I've... I've genuinely done this in a weird, weird way. Normally I would have focused fully on getting a good, reliable power system up and, like, pushing hard on that front so that I would have enough power around that I didn't need to worry about mining coal for burning it. But because I've been burning coal, I've I've totally balked the way I've done things. <laughs> yeah, Eisen, we have played relationship engineers uh, with It Takes Two. 
Where is the beacon? There's the beacon. Alright, it is night time. I am going out, but I'm going to put the beacon down. And turn it on. Wait. Where's my... Is my tracker thing inside? That's my tracker chip, isn't it? <sighs> okay, seriously, what even is turkey bacon? I heard DE say about it, and I've heard it on US TV heaps. What is it? Horrible. <laughs> okay, noted. Uh... It's a marketing ploy. It's an abomination. But, th like... It's turkey meat just cut thin and long to look like bacon. Oh. Right. Okay. Sure. Supposed to each their own. Um, silicon, no. I'm actually looking for iron. Ah, yeah, iron, 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 iron and coal to make that steel. Wait, no, I think I, I think I had the ratios wrong. For it's two to one oxide to volatile, three to one iron to coal for steel. Someone correct me if I'm wrong on those. I think that's what I remember. So I remember, I remember using three stacks of iron to each coal, so I'm confident on the steel bit. It's just the volatiles to oxide bit for a simple gas mix that I'm trying to remember if I've got it around the wrong way or not. This is convenient. Iron and coal together. Yeah, my little hand drill spitting dirt into the air. Three to one volatile toxy. That doesn't sound right. I know the mixes are different depending on what heat you want. That didn't. That. Did, I swear the ratios were different. The recommended ratios were different between what you need for steel, and what you need for the Get gas mix. Because there's like a clean burning gas mix that produces a good amount of heat for making just simple steel stuff. It could be 3 to 1. I didn't think it was, though. It's been a while. 
As I said, should have had the wiki up on another screen so that I could just quickly look across at it. Uh, yeah, Agent Jackson, this will this will go across to the Flipsy channel. It's rare that a stream doesn't. Um, sometimes, like in the case of the Avorian finale, it's because somehow I just forgot and it got lost. Uh, other times it's because I don't... I kind of intended it to be a Twitch-only thing, but that's pretty rare. Most of the time... You can just assume it's going to come across. Especially if it's a game like Stationeers, Space Engineers, or some other survival based game. Uh, the Super Saturday stream stuff that Capac and I did with Wasted a while back didn't come across because Jackbox got content ID'd and I couldn't be bothered figuring out whether it was actually legit or not. Because content like that's usually better live than as a VOD. Or substantially better live as, than as a VOD. Now the, the Avorian finale has been released now on the Flipsy channel. It's just I it got lost in the stack of other streams that I'd exported and eventually, like, by the time I'd actually posted it, it was bumped to the next page. Um, so that wasn't ideal. Jetpack on. to make one nice big stack of 200 steel. So it can last a little while. Uh, yeah, Bilbo, the, they've changed the voice. Um, Rocket was saying that it's a, 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 people were finding the Kiwi voice jarring. But I kind of liked it. It made it unique. It's like how like the Icarus um, pre-release videos, the scripted ones, were all Kiwi. Well, mostly Kiwis. And there have been plenty of good Kiwi actors over the years. Some of them so good that Australia try basically claimed them as theirs. But then they went weird and we gave them back. Thanks, mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah, Graza, it it's... I find that Australian... The Aussie accent, the Kiwi accent, and the South African accent next to an American accent sound really weird. When, especially in like TV or movies. Ah, uh, that'll do. actually travel a decent distance, but I think that's my hill. Let's find out. Yep, that's my hill. <laughs> I 
Ivy Chris, if you find it funniest when an American tries to do the accents, you should hear how Tex says hello to me every time we join TeamSpeak. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Oi. Hey, Tex. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Tex. Got to tell that one when I can. Oh, yeah, see, Eisen, the Australian accent is pretty stable across the country. Um, like, some South Australians you'd be able to pick separately, and some others you might, but generally it's not location-based terribly strongly. Like, a lot of ac other accents can be. Um, I have to wait till night before I can do my furnacing. Or do I? Yes, I do, because it's going to... Vol the volatiles will melt in my hands. Um, nuts. Well, Queensland isn't necessarily a bit different. Queensland's... The accent of Queenslanders sounds very much like people from New South Wales who aren't in a city. Yeah, Roganatu, that that's another thing, but it's I feel like the Australian accent is less location based and more education based. And yes, Elmir, all of us Easterners sound the same. It's the verbal shortcuts and word choices. Yeah, that's true. Um, I think I think that varies more than the accent. I think the accent there's enough individual variability wherever you are in the country um, that it's hard to tell. But I I I certainly feel like there are times where I'm like. That accent isn't quite right. Are they, are they South Australian? And I'm and I've been right more often than I've been wrong. Uh So what I'm hearing is all Aussies sound like Paul Hogan and Steve Irwin to varying degrees. Yeah. It's just... Uh, and one of the reasons that I think in general... I don't know if my accent's getting stronger or more mild these days. Uh, but my accent's not particularly strong is that I grew up with a lot of friends who had English as a second language. So... As a result, I think I just kind of ended up with this going a bit more neutral. And then also working surrounded by um, palms that kind of did it too and made me sound a bit more English for a few years there. Because I, working in healthcare, there are a lot of expat English health uh, workers that come out. And so you, at one of the hospitals I worked at, I was literally the token Aussie. 
Um, it was all bombs and South Africans. <laughs> yes, Tex, your accent is fairly mild. Um, until you put it on for effect. Um, I was coming in here for something and I've already forgotten because I got distracted by accents. I needed something in here. I can't do the steel yet. It needs to be night time before I can do the steel. What was I doing? I was looking at something going, I need this thing, so I'm going to go in there and get it. Oh, locker. That's what I was doing. Uh, Pom is Prisoner of Majesty, I think it, uh, it refers to English people. Uh, Tex, I think you could look at any of the very specific, uh, English accents and pretty much any of them would be hard for any other English speaker to decipher. That would be my guess. Like, even native English speakers struggle with a lot of them. Uh. I don't think... I, Pom's kind of like a cheeky... Colonist to the mother country kind of slang term. At least that's how I've always understood it. Uh, yes, I'm working on the food, Mike. I'm working on it. Yeah, exactly. That was the scene that popped into my head, Damon Works, in Hot Fuzz, where they're translating Hello. between the farmer to the police officer from that officer, the, the canine officer, to the next person to then <laughs> be able to understand what's being said. Hot Fuzz is a fantastic movie. Such a good movie. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, yes, I was right. I, oh no, I was wrong. I just looked up the wiki and it is one part oxygen to two parts volatiles for the clean burning gas mix in the furnace. Hot fuzz, you can see in hot fuzz what they learned from... Shaun of the Dead. They just nailed it in Hot Fuzz. They had a great story and they knew what they were doing. So, two parts volatiles. Let's go eight in. And then... Four of these. Eh. 
Eh. That is not a good place for a <laughs> locker. Okay, we're there. Alright, let's get this steel. And we got steel. Um, I'm tempted to make another bunch of steel. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, or should I make the solder? I should make the solder, which is a one-to-one -one mix. Oh dear, is this too hot for solder? Um, solder, solder, solder. Solder, iron, lead, one megapascal, minimum pressure, max temperature, 550 Kelvin. Okay, I got too much pressure. Be careful not to cook my face. I got too much pressure and temperature. Dang it. I should have waited. Where are we at? Six megapascals. Four. Still don't have solder. Oh no, wait. Should we? No, the temperature needs to go down. What am I saying? Solder is low temp, not low pressure. But if I lower the pressure, I'll lower the temp. So that's the way I'm going to go. What's the minimum pressure, though? One megapascal. I may just have to wait for this to cool. Because I may have just uh, let out too much gas for it to cool before the pressure drops too far. 550 Kelvin. Yeah, definitely text. It is a love letter to nine, 90s cop action movies. And I think I think that's potentially part of why it's such a successful thing that it was there was something really meaningful to it for them. Jeez, Pock, you forgot the Kiwis. They also drive on the correct side of the road. Ooh, am I going to drop below one megapascal before I... Oh, and the... And the Japanese, sorry. Um, am I... Yeah, I'm going to drop. I'm going to have to put some extra volatiles in here. Pressure-wise. Okay, that worked. Uh, I split off one of that. That's going to add the heat, so I won't do that until I've got my solder out. Which is almost there.
The correct side of the road is the left hand side of the road because then your gear changing hand is not your dominant is not your dominant hand in a manual car for 90% of the population. So for 90% of the population, driving on the left keeps your dominant hand on the steering wheel. That's where, like, when Wasted and I have talked about this, that's where we both go, yep, that's, I think that's the most logical bit. Uh, it depends where you are in the world, whether, oh, you jerk. It must have just dropped in pressure. That's just going to be, no, oh, no, that's all right. Ranger mix is coming back. Rotten thing. And now we're too hot. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Theta. Dominant hand on the wheel, dominant elbow on the window. It's perfect. That's how I... Because you can use, like... I'm big enough, I can... My elbow rests on the driver's side door with my hand on the steering wheel. But either way, I, I think we're at a point where we should all probably agree that it's time for humans to stop driving. Um, as they, We're getting to that point, I should say. It's not quite there, but we're getting to the point where it's time for humans to stop driving. Uh, I do 60, and then I need 20 coal. When I say humans not driving, I mean computers doing it for us. Uh, uh, Proctoron, that depends on where in the world you live. In Australia, there are still plenty of manual cars. Same in the UK. And it's not as universal as it is in the U... As what I understand it is in North America for every car to be auto. Oh no, it's getting close to the point I can't do this anymore. I have to do this. There we go. There's my steel. Uh, I'm just going to have to let this cool and hope that I remember to check for the solder. But yes, mostly my comments regarding uh, the left-hand side being the correct side of the road is me just being facetious. And enjoying how irate some people get about it. Oh no, that's my call. to get righteous about the right side. Oh dear.
I especially um, enjoy the ridiculousness of me making the argument about um, uh, manual transmission cars when I've never owned one and the only manual vehicles that I've driven regularly were motorbikes. <laughs> just like to see how upset people get at it I know it's not about seeing how upset people get it's about lighthearted fun I everyone's a troll in some ways uh, it's it's about where you draw the line I guess as to whether you're a horrible troll or whether you're just someone having a bit of fun um, and how much the person the people involved are able to laugh along with you Like, when Capac and I poke fun at each other, yeah, that's trolling, but it's light-hearted and we would stop the moment that the other person seemed slightly, really upset. Come on. Give me that battery charge. How are you going? Still got a few degrees to lose. Exactly, Elmir. Trolling does not excuse you being a horrible person. Just because you thought it was a joke doesn't mean the other person did. And that's why you preserve it for your best friends. Who can clearly and confidently tell you that you've gone too far. I want to wait for this before I go inside, because I don't have to go in and out. But it's taking so long. And I'm worried I'm going to drop pressure too much if I release the valve before it reaches the right pressure. Uh, having a manual shit, having a stick shift car is the best because no one will ask to borrow it. That's similar logic to something I used to enjoy about driving a ute. Um, having a ute meant that if you went out with a group of friends, you only had to give one person a lift because you only had one other seat. So you never had to give a whole bunch of people a lift. So usually someone else would drive and you wouldn't have to. However, it did have the Ute does have another problem though, which is then you get asked to um, help people move big objects. Which has happened to me before too. But then then you just have a really um a really rough ute and just let them borrow the keys. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to go inside and see what I can do with the steel. It's taking too long. As a Scottish guy, it's much more likely no one will ask to borrow your car if it's automatic because no one wants to drive an automatic. Yeah, Cam saying that's kind of what I was getting at, that in in the UK, um, manual cars are much more common. Dark Sand, you're giving me a whole lot of um, suggestions that are kind of irrelevant to me at the moment because I don't have the stuff that you're suggesting which is why I'm largely not doing it just in case you were wondering because um, yeah I can't do a lot of things you're saying alright we want a radiator for the liquid pipe because I want to warm it up because I want to be able to fill my water bottles
Let's just make one for now. Uh, what I miss? Oh, I missed something and I can't find it in the chat. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bilbo, that's odd. A, a U tray is like a 12-seater. How did you get away with only one? Uh, legality and people not wanting to die is why I, I never had to give people a ride in the tray. Uh, what else was I wanting to make? I want to put the steel in the electron printer. Find out what the batteries cost to make. Because I can't remember. Battery cell large. Copper and gold. Do I have copper and gold in the thing? Do I have any more gold? Bit. I want to put the, I want to put one large battery in the airlock. For now, I'll build a station battery once I get more solar panels because there's no point having one at the moment. I can barely keep my current batteries charged. But it will, it is on the list of things to do. I can go in there. Waste tank caution. Waste tank caution. Ooh. That's good. Opened. Just added more CO2 to the air. In here. Um, oh, I need more filters. And I think I just killed the power. Lucky that got some... Oh, yeah, that'd be why. <laughs> that battery cell is, has just pulled all the charge from the other one. Oh my gosh, it still hasn't gone down enough. It should drop heaps more now that the ambient temperature is dropping, though. Now that I've got steel, I should be able to build the better solar panels that can be left outside. Shouldn't I? Yeah, Brayden, it is um, nowhere near as easy to get tracking solar panels as it used to be. Although... I say that, I've made this really hard by doing this in a bizarre order. Um, I've genuinely done things weirdly today. But I've had fun doing it, so meh. We're here to have fun, so I feel like that works. <laughs> Karma's Evil Twin. I can't make the shoot outside. That's the problem. I keep forgetting when I'm inside. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, you might be right, Spare Paul. There are three grades of solar panel now. There's the basic, the standard, and then there's the heavy. And the heavy's the one that can be outside. 
I did also forget to attach the radiator. Oh yeah, now that temperature's going up. Let's hope I don't boil it. Solar panels can be outside, but you... Um, don't need... But you'd need to repair them every time a storm comes by. Uh, most of this stuff in the game you can pull back up and get back to at least the components of them without losing anything. Uh, melting them down. I've never tried to melt down plate or sheets by putting them in a furnace. Not sure you can or not. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, just trying to think what I'm best off doing now. This is getting close, I think. I need more... Yeah, I just need more power generation, really. I need to stop relying on coal. It was an interesting experiment to see how long I could rely on coal for, but it's just a bit silly at this point. Yeah, I thought it might have been that. Dark Sand. It's just, you just destroy stuff by throwing it in the furnace. You don't actually get anything back. Oh, Recycler. Yeah, and then the Centrifuge. Uh, that's the way. I've never really used it, though, because there's not a lot that I've wanted to destroy after I've made it. Or wanted to reuse that I... Like, when I'd gotten to that point. Um, I will be back in just a moment. I need to take a quick bio break. Uh, as I watch this furnace slowly tick up. Tick down. Reminds you of the old Starfield screensaver. Yeah, fair enough. As we just watch it slowly go down and the 
gas slowly coming out of somewhere. I suppose it's the gas moving out of the space it's in because the it's getting hotter. Boy, that's slow. I kind of feel like I can do this and we'll be okay. Because we're almost at the temperature. Oh, 6 6 red. This furnace setup is as basic as I get. I will do a much better furnace setup later. I just wanted to get the steel and solder done super quick. So that's why I've done this very, very basically. Uh, come on. I think that's all I dare. Ditch. That's, just, that's at least going to cool a bit faster. Yeah, Dragon PC, that's exactly what I was thinking as I went to do the release. That if I get too impatient, I'll do the same thing I did before and end up going too far. Uh... Just want to get this solder and then I can focus fully on power production, power production, power production. In fact, I was thinking it might be worthwhile for me to expand this room out a bit. How's the water temp doing? That's a good distraction. It's almost not frozen. No, you can't make solder in the um, arc furnace. Arc furnace is for single things. You can't make alloys in it. Oh, just another 26 degrees. Can frozen pipes burst? I assume so. Though I don't know if they've modelled an increase in pressure... With water shifting phase to solid. Does what being a single rock make a different comes able to win? Oh, you mean it being the reagent? I don't think so. The the reagent mix that's kind of... Because if I popped it out now, would it come out as... No, I don't think so. It does make me kind of want to check, though. Nope. <laughs> oh. Come on, it's so close. Just give me the solder. <laughs> give me the solder. I normally do the solder so much later on when I realize, oh, I've got the conditions for solder. Rather than doing it early like I did this time. Because I was a dum-dum. Come on. Is that it? Come on, drop. Just Yay! Solder.
I'm thinking what I might do since if I haven't yet um, expanded this area is put the if I can make some good solar panels I'll put the dodgy ones outside for the time being um, I think that's probably my best plan all right solar panel get solar panel I can make two. Make a shoot. <laughs> Thanks, Karma. What's the thing I use to drop stuff into shoots? Uh, is it a separate kit or is it the same? Bin? Yeah, bin. That's what I want. Okay, cool. I probably want another shoot then. Just in case. Alright, so we got the shoots. We can forget about that until I get outside now. Uh, I guess I could try and squeeze these all in here, but I don't really have a lot of space. Kind of tempted to put this here for now. And then this one here. Which is going to make it annoying to move in here, but I think it's still my best plan. Side we go. Oh. This will hopefully get me to a point of actually charging batteries during the day. Uh, is that more charged or less charged than mine? Less. Uh, are wind turbines made at the um, pipe bender? I'm trying to remember. I was thinking I might make a couple of wind turbines too. They won't do much most of the time, but like a storm will, well, potentially burn out my cables. But <laughs> at least there'll be some uh, small amount of power generation overnight. I think. Wind turbines at Electronic Printer Mark II. Aww. Well, trap. I think it was that plan. Oh no, upright wind turbine. Here we go. Iron and copper. Do I have copper? Yeah.
Let's make two of these. Okay, they don't need anything else. I was just checking if, they need, if I needed something else to construct with it to get it finished. Oops. Uh, Spare Paul, I wouldn't say that the wiki is useless. The wiki's pretty good. Uh, sp although that might be because I'm coming from Space Engineers where the wikis are really out of date in a lot of cases. Um, like, I feel like the Stationers wiki has helped me a lot. Watching during meetings, <laughs> Rocket. <laughs> Oop, no, oh, that way. Okay, how much are they outputting? And how do I tell again? I don't know what I need to put in the... Is it the... Is there a power analyzer thing? Network analyzer. I think that's the one. It's true. I may want a transformer for if there's a storm, but I... Didn't think to make one before I came outside. I might actually have enough stuff for it, too. Well, you know, I guess that means they're producing about... Uh, solar panels should be pretty much dead by now. Ah, see, there we go. Ah, Darren, and I didn't realize you'd uh, updated the wiki for Space Engineers. That's awesome. Ah, uh, but yeah, Mike, I w I'll want a transformer or at least something to stop this from blowing when there's a storm. Uh, let's grab those. Open the door. Bet that's going to be in an inconvenient place. No, actually, no, that's not bad. Wait, is there an unpowered version of this? If the inlet, can I just throw stuff in it? <laughs> hey, John. Yeah, I've played Station Airs a fair bit. Uh, hmm. Let's get the throwy one. Oops. Not what I meant to do. Oh, hand drill. There we go. That's what I want. Just throw some coal in it and have a go. Let's try it out. Let's close the door. Because now we can keep it closed. Got a tiny bit of coal left. My power situation's improved, but it's still horrible. Hooray! Generator working. 
Yeah, exactly, Gruz. I've only played 209 hours of Station Years. There we are. I might actually wrap up my stream here, I think. I am definitely going to come back to this uh, within the next week or so to try and get my water system properly running. In fact, let's just check the temperature before I stop. It's functional. Okay, my water system is functional. But find more water and get my food system up and running. I'd like to get through that part as well. And see how it's going. Maybe improve the furnace setup, depending on how long I play for. But, uh, it's been fun and really stable. Apart from my head being missing, which apparently was probably just because I hadn't updated my model for ages. Uh, all has been... Oh, and the F9 thing. Oh, that's right. Not finished yet. Need to do more of this. Oh, what? It's not working now. <laughs> oh, man. Ah. What the? What is happening when I press F5? Um. Jetpack on. Ow! Damage. Temperature low. Temperature critical. Oh, I'm gonna die. But what is actually happening? Temperature low. Temperature oh, low. F5 is debug atmos dump for testing. Temperature critical. Ow. Temperature low. <laughs> Temperature okay. critical. Okay. That's good to know. I didn't know what that did. So I press random keys on my keyboard. Power critical. Why not? Oh. Oxygen low. Oh. Oh. Uh. Thought I was gonna die for a second then. Oxygen critical. Oxygen critical. Ooh. My suit is leaking so badly. Um, my tank's about to die. Uh, let's tape myself up. I'm glad I saved before I did that. Temperature low. <laughs> okay, let's let's uh I'm now curious. Uh exit. What was it about that other save that let me do the thing? Oh yeah. Yep. Ow, ow. Critical. Pressure critical. Okay. Toxin so... critical. Oxygen critical. Uh I'll be back with more ridiculousness. Uh that. Nope. That. I'll be back with more ridiculousness soon. And more station ears probably next week. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I We'll see you then. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Dean.